What is up, boys? Welcome to the stream. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I'm on time, bro. That's my thing now. I show up on time. What are we doing? How are we feeling? How we doing, chat? Welcome back to the stream. What up, what up, what up? We got a regular ass stream today. Four hours. All said and done, it's probably how long we'll go. No member only shenanigans. Just good old fashioned me and you. And a stream. Thank you, I'm the skis for the membership. Appreciate that. How we doing? How we doing? How we doing? My grandma's in your DMs. <laughs> Dope. Dope. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. How's everybody's day today? I like that shirt. Me too. I like this shirt. I like it mostly because of the sleeves. I like quarter sleeves. Half sleeves? I don't know what you call them. I edge to your stream. Okay, that's a timeout. That's a timeout. That's horny jail. All right, I'm going to put you in 10-minute horny jail. I don't think you'll last much longer. 10-minute horny jail. Come back to us when you're less horny. That's all I'm saying. Thank you the membership. Hanny, uh, Hannah Honey. Appreciate it. Someone made a video ranking every yard episode. I saw a tier list of it on the subreddit. I didn't see a video about it. But I did, I did see that tier list. I think it, it seems pretty right. But I don't know. Everyone's got different opinions. Like, there's a lot of polarizing episodes. The Carl Jacobs, the 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 crossover one. People hate that one. People love that one. People, you know, for example, I really like the Stavros episode. Some people hate that one. They can't even listen to it. Zach, think of the ten. Finn, think of the uh, uh, Finn, think of the ten gifted. Zach, think of the membership. Five from I don't know what to say. Yo, I made it to stream on time. Thank you. Somebody's punctual. William She Jordan, appreciate it. What recent anime have you watched? I haven't watched one. I haven't watched an anime in God knows how long. Well, I guess if you count Boy in the Hair and I watched the movie, but I haven't watched like a show in a while. I think I, I want to watch Samurai Blue. Is that what it's called? It's the Netflix. Is it Netflix? I think it's Netflix. Samurai. I think it's by a French studio. I don't know if it's anime. It's a Japanese style animated series from a French studio about Japanese stuff. Turn Goblin, think of the 25 months. 37th agent, think of the 25 months. Appreciate it. Think of the five gifted tiny keyboard. Blue-eyed samurai, that's it. Blue-eyed samurai. Blue-eyed samurai. Uh, French animation studios, they're like top top three in the world. Japan, America, France. Goated status. When will you retire? Bro, I gotta I, I'm chilling. I'm here for a bit. You got you got me. But I also like, I'll just retire one day. I don't think I'll make a big stink of it. I won't do like a countdown. Not that there's anything wrong with a countdown inherently, but I, I prefer Irish goodbyes. Navis Spade saying the 50 gifted. Don't ever retire. Scott, look, okay, a lot of people have been saying this. A lot of people, I didn't talk about this. I made a mogul mail about uh, everyone is quoting YouTube. And a lot of people like to say don't retire. But they say that from a very selfish place. And I'm not trying to put you on blast here, Scott. I understand why they say it. They say it because they like the thing. They like the person. They want them to keep making the thing. But I think most of the time they say it out of fear. Right? It's a bit of fear that drives that request. Because you're probably not going to be watching me in a year. I, I don't know the exact percentage, but there's some stat that in a year, about 30 to 50% of you guys are going to turn over. Meaning... A new group of the same amount of viewers are going to replace you guys. Some will stay. I mean, some have stayed for, for fucking four years. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. I don't even have my stream remote on. That could have been horrifying. <laughs> my bad. But you get the idea. You get the idea. So anyway, I think when you're asking someone to keep making the content, it is because you're fear of the world changing around you rather than hey you want to keep enjoying that and you basically want to go back for like little little nostalgia bumps little little nostalgia bumps so you can relive 
a period of your life. But if you were to actually look within, you'd be like, oh, I actually don't, you know, that actually really isn't my main cup of tea nowadays. Like a good example for me, C Nanners. I watched C Nanners all the time growing up. And selfishly, I would love if C Nanners kept making videos. So I could pop in every six months and be like, what's C Nanners up to? But based off what I currently watch, it's not really what I was watching when I was in high school. So I don't think I actually care about watching C Nanners. I just want that nostalgia blast. Thank you for the 100 gifted Nave of Spades. Rebel Heart, thank you for the, uh, the membership. Coco, Jack, Smacks, Kalen, Alani, Azul. Appreciate that. Any Valorant today? No Valo. No Valo today, boys. Today we got content. Your stream's lagging, but not on my end. Make a bidet tier list. Not a bad idea, actually. Ritz, thank you for the 25 months. I know a few people who should step away from it. Yeah, <laughs> look, we're not getting to get... We're, that's a tough conversation to get into. Address Nick Saban's retirement. It's college football. I don't. Here's the thing. When you go to Arizona State University and your alma mater is as dog shit as they are at college football, you don't really keep up. <laughs> uh, hey, I'm just happy if we go even. Thank you the 10 gifted Daniel Smith. Cam Wong, appreciate it. Favorite coffee? Just a cappuccino. I don't know if I know, like, a brew. Bro, I will explode if you retire before I can meet you. <laughs> Look, if we meet, it'll be beautiful. We'll cross paths naturally. Or just come to one of my shows. Strike, thank you for the 279 CAD. Stay here and let us be scared. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Look, I, I'm here. I'm not leaving. I'm here. What's the game plan today? All right, I'll tell you the game plan in a little bit. Uh, start and stream pretty early. I was going to start a little bit earlier, but uh, but I went on a nice walk. And I also got up to a bit of libel. Okay, important distinction, by the way, there's a difference between slander and libel. They do both fall under the umbrella of defamation. However, slander is the spoken word saying something slanderous, defaming someone with your mouth. Libel is the written form. That's all to say that I libeled the shit out of Valkyrie. Right? <laughs> Because I will tell you what, this may or may not be a doctored screenshot. She did say skibbity with the mouse nails. That is true. But my message before was not that. I think I said, that's so phantom tax. <laughs> a little bit of libel never hurt nobody. Come on, what's wrong with a, just a little bit of libel? Anyway, a couple updates. If you guys haven't heard, I don't think I talked about it too much yesterday. But we've announced our roster for the draft show match for the Ludwig Tarek Invitational. Again, Ludwig Tarek Invitational is happening this weekend. Saturday, Sunday. It'll be like 10 a.m. every day and it'll go about 8, 10 hours, whatever it is. And this, this year, we're doing a draft show match. So it's not just going to be like the Yard versus OTV. It's going to be these eight competitors... And me and Tarek are going to draft amongst them. And as you might expect, I am drafting first, which means I will pick 10s because they get Tarek automatically. And then the other competitors are Masayoshi, Lily, Pokimane, Aiden, Peter, Nick, and Slime. So that that, that will be then. That will be then. Uh, this weekend, think of the gifted SDJ Wolf. Uh, other updates? What do we have going on? I had something. I had something wise and also smart. Oh, a couple posts on my subreddit that I need to talk about today. Okay? Let's just let's just bang these out. Let's just bang these out. What's up, Nave? Any plans for a future poker stream? I want to do one, but I'm not keen, right? I'm not, like, actively seeking one. I'll, it, it'll happen, but I'm not gonna I'm not going to rush it. You know what I mean? We got a few things to address on the subreddit. Some zero upvote posts. I like to address even the zero upvoters because maybe they have a point. Or maybe they don't. Scammed again, chat. Watching the, ba uh, the office decorating video from his stream last week, I think it's pretty clear scam wig returned. This time, the coin flip veto. I believe our scammer was never leaving the potential of buying a $48,000 desk to chance. He pre-recorded a coin flip and played it for us, knowing the results. Scammer down to his soul. 
Let's get one thing straight. Okay? Let's get one fucking thing straight. I flipped a coin for my YouTube contract. Okay? I don't stress about a $48,000 coin flip. Not stressed about it. W don't want to do it. I'll come clean. I don't want to do it. But I'm not going to ruin the sanctity of a flip. Because I'm so scared of it. I just won. And I posted on the subreddit. I said it was real. All right. I replied to shit on my subreddit sometimes. I, I replied. I said it was real. You know what they replied? Then you're stupid as hell. Oh, I did not realize I walked into the Lose Lose store. What are you guys selling today? Motherfucker. Scammer or dumb? Ah, fun. That's fun for me. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Never win with you guys. Never win. Next post. Is Ludwig going to write off the barrel of lube? Okay, during Ludwig's latest credit card stream, Lud bought a shit ton of stuff. I know he probably writes it all off. But I imagine him giving the Amazon list to his accountant and the look on his face when he sees a $1,000 50-gallon barrel of lube, he's going to try to pass off as a business expense. All right, In fact, that was a lot of the top comments on the video. If you look at the video here, a lot of people a lot of people like to go, ah, right off. And I think I think there's a genuine lack of understanding on taxes. And I think most people who say write-off aren't paying taxes. At least they're not paying taxes the way I'm paying taxes. They're paying taxes in the way that their employer takes a certain percentage of their income, gives it to the government directly, and then they receive a check from the government at the end of the year. As opposed to me, where I, YouTube gives me all the money that I'm owed, and I have to carve out what I owe the government and pay it. Uh, and the top comment, pretty good here. Write-off's not the term. CPA here reminding everybody it would simply be recorded as a business expense, like any other business expense related to his content. It reduces revenue earned at arrive at arrive uh, to arrive at gross profit, which then is used to determine taxable income. A write-off is a term more in line with describing a tax incentive given for, say, installing solar panels. So anyway, it's not even close to some of the craziest business expenses we've had. The craziest business expense we've had is Jackie Chan, who's right there. That one's probably the craziest. But I'm supposed to give him away to Schlatt anyway. Me and Schlatt have to do a trade at some point. I'm supposed to trade Schlatt, Jackie, and he's supposed to give me one of his monkey statues. Uh, which, you know, pretty fair trade. Uh, all right, and then final one. I found the latest mogul mail kind of whack. My problem wasn't sharing the guy's story. The guy was completely out of line. His story, this is, by the way, about the streamer who pretended to be black and Muslim and older than he was. And lied to the viewers and his friends. And the crux, because uh, I'm not going to read through all this, is that he thought I was too mean. Specifically, when I said, uh, I've never pretended I'm not black because, well, I'm a human. And then I followed up and said, well, also, I'm on camera every day, so it wouldn't work. And they thought the term, or phrasing this person as inhuman is too aggressive. Uh, which I'll first start off by saying, and I don't know if this is controversial here, chat. I don't know if I've ever been particularly known for my niceness. <laughs> Just, I mean, this is not a good argument, but I don't know if I've ever been particularly known as kind. However, I do think I was particularly kind with this person. Because I don't know if you guys know, for this mogul male, I got on a call with Boomer NA, who was like the main friend of this content creator's envy. And did a bunch of shit for him and really helped his career. And I talked to him for like, half an hour and I didn't mention everything this guy did because for one I didn't want doxing information and a lot of what I learned was was doxing in some fashion and then for two it it was in a, it was a, a long list and even after posting the video I've received several dms from friends of Zenby that go on and this is just an excerpt I won't say who this is from but they go on and they go oh by the way he lied about even more than what you said and then I also, just after I posted the video, found this video, which resurfaced. It has like a thousand views on YouTube. Let me see if I can find it. You don't want you to do.
This is a three and a half hour video podcast between Zenby and another creator about the struggles of being black in the streamer space. <laughs> it's crazy. It's it's actually insane. It's in dude, it's insane. Listening to it, knowing that it's all fake is crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh but anyway, the the main thing I was trying to be kind was by not giving any information that would lead to somebody finding the real identity of the person. Which which I don't want. I don't want to happen and I definitely don't want on my hands. Uh live with a new battle royale. So chat, today we are playing Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Battle Royale. This is a new update to the game that I've played many times on stream before. I have to beat this game in an hour, yada yada. They added a battle royale. So we're gonna try it out today. I don't know how well it'll go, but we're gonna we're gonna play a little bit of it uh in just a bit here. It's real, yeah, it's real. I'm not I don't I didn't make that shit up. I'm a little worried it's gonna be impossible because some people are gonna stream site and then be Google Gary's, but we'll 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 see. We'll we'll see it together. Basically, we'll we'll find out. Uh and then I think I think that's it. Oh, and then I, I wanted to talk about this. Okay, so I was actually going to go live today with a different challenge because I got a text from, from my good bud Yingo from Yingling. And he says, look at the comments, Lamau. I'm going to play the TikTok for you guys. I did a speed run where I had to win in six different games consecutively, and this is how that went. Nice. Is he Viper? Nice! Ah. Sub 30! Fucking go. Pause. Are you fucking kidding me, Periwinkle Fantasy? We're we're coming with this level of viciousness today. I wouldn't get past Valo the first game. Really? We saw yesterday. I duo. No, I didn't duo. I I full stacked with Avon and Lily, aka Tweedledee and Tweedledum. It's not my fault. I'm MVPing these games. I'm fragging out. Okay, and I'm not the highest rank in the group, mind you. I'm not. All right, let's get back to it. Go. I'm coming everywhere. Let's go, man. Let's go. Chaser. Keep it going. So the basic idea is this guy has like six or so multiplayer games, and he needs to beat them all back to back to back. Similar to the God Gamer Gauntlet, but not one player. And it's a lot of the biggest games. It's Valorant. It's Overwatch. It's League. It's Melee. It's Street Fighter. And it ends with Fortnite Battle Royale. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this guy I did a speed run. spent 20 hours trying to finish this challenge. It's not an easy challenge, right? The good thing about the challenge is it scales relative to your rank. So it's not particularly harder if you are worse at the game because your opponents will be relatively easier, right? However, if you look through the comments, it goes, Ludwig, where are you at? Don't think he can win a Fortnite game. Literally thought the same thing. Which kind of fucking hurt my feelings. You know, I can't just scroll through a damn TikTok without being called out. What's that about? Now, I've been looking into the, doing this challenge. However, if I were to do it, 
I think I would shift it around a bit. I don't want to do it today. Look, I thought about doing it today, but here's the thing. It's not gonna it's not gonna take a stream. It might not even take two streams. It might take three, five, seven streams to beat. And I need I need a I need, you know, I need my editors to be able to work on something. But but I also don't like the format. Right? So this format is specifically catered to this guy's skill. Although you might think Fortnite Battle Royale is the hardest one, and that's why maybe it's more exciting that it's at the end. I believe Shiro is a former Fortnite specialist. I don't know if pro is the right word, but specialist. Like Fortnite's the game that that he he's maybe the most confident in. He's a great gamer too, by the way. He's like a high rank in Valo as well. I'm pretty sure he's like fucking Immortal Radiant. And he's good at he's good at almost every game. But but Fortnite is, is his main game. And I think League was was his his real run killer. So I think if I were to do this, I'd probably do melee first. So let's actually let's let's do a thought experiment. If I were to do this challenge, what order would I do it in one? And then two, what would I replace Overwatch with? Because I've never played a game of Overwatch in my life, and I'm not necessarily like scared of of trying it. I don't think Overwatch is like, oh, so fearsome that I can't beat it. But I don't want to break my never played the game in my life streak. I just don't want to break it. I kind of like that I've never played the game before. And I'm not here saying that I'm against playing it or I never will play it. But if I'm going to pop my cherry in the Overwatch field, uh, a marketplace of ideas, it's not going to be for this, right? It's going to be it's gonna be more grandiose than that. So I've been thinking, like, what do I replace it with? I do think Rocket League is a good one. I think Rocket League is the good Ooh, chess. Yo, chess is a good one. Chess is a good one. Well, actually, maybe Rocket... Can you do Rocket League solo queue into a 3v3? Okay, so if I'm going to do this, it's going to be Melee, Chess, Doppel, <laughs> Luddle. <laughs> uh, after that, probably... Hmm. Okay, no, let's be real. If I were to do this, I would start out Melee, right? Because I think, I think you want to start with a game that you have a high success chance winning. And 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 you get a little confidence out of the way. Next up, Fortnite Battle Royale. Fortnite Battle Royale. I think it just has to be second. Because realistically, it will be the hardest one for me to win. Right? Why are you saying LOL all caps, Tim? I carried you to a victory royale. Okay? Okay, stop, stop just adding more O's. It doesn't even work, right? Because all you're saying is laughing out, 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 you know what I mean? Like, what do you, you can't be more out. You're already, you're not even in the fucking stratosphere with how many O's you got. Back up. Melee, Fortnite, en suite. Next up, that's what that means. Next up, what do we got? I'll save League of Legends. We'll go Valorant. Valorant, that's easy. That's free. That's all time. I mean, look, I've done the other challenge. I mean, if if we're doing a Ludwig version, right? If we're doing a Ludwig version, and, and they all have to be multiplayer games, I'd probably play Autos, Suica, Suica Online, Chess, Valorant, Melee, GeoGuessr, Sap, You know, Pokemon Showdown. Yeah, I, I haven't I done this. Isn't this a YouTube video already? Am I crazy? I feel like I've done this. What what do I look up to find this? I feel like I've done this. There's a video out there called like I'm the best gamer in the world, and it's and it's me, and I and I'm, I I want to prove I'm the best gamer in the world. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck the game is, but it's not the God Gamer Gauntlet, but it's something. Ludwig God Gamer. Let's find out. Beating the hardest games of all time in less than an hour. Not that one. Dude, this was insane, though. I'm kind of impressed by myself. It's only up in North America. Everyone knows this. I'm the one who brought it to American soil. I'm like the Christopher Columbus. Dude, I beat only up, getting over it, pogo stuck, and jump king in less than an hour. That's kind of insane. Nobody there. Nobody. Nobody there. No, just me. Just me. I didn't cheat. 
I'm a gamer! I swear! Stop self-glazing? Someone's gotta do it, though, you know what I mean? My biggest regret is not two of me. I would keep one person glazing me at all times. What What is the other one called? What's the thing called? How I proved I'm the best gamer in the world. Of course it's called. <laughs> it, is, it is predictable. Is this it? Is this actually it? Boys! Today, we are doing a throwback stream, taking it back to the days of yore, the days that brought us to who we are here today. And, well, lately I've been troubled. You see, a lot of people have been making fun of me, and there have been a lot of accusations that I am not the gamer I once was. I'm not the god masher. Dude, this is almost 18 months ago. Or the guy who could speedrun Super Mario 64. Or the legend who'd be getting over it, junking, and Pogo stuck back-to-back to, back to uh-oh back in less than 30 minutes. So today, I did do that. I did beat them back-to-back-to-back to back to back in uh-oh 30 minutes. It is true that I did do that. Okay? I'm here to prove that I am the same man. I've compiled a list of... Okay, so my list was mash... <laughs> what a fucking list. Connor! Live? Huh? Are you streaming? Yeah, I'm live on YouTube.com slash at Ludwig. Dude, I've been streaming on YouTube. Have you? I've been going viral. You enjoying it? It's cool. I just put it on the side, and then I forget on the chatters there. Did you see I messaged you? I did. I said, yes, sir. Oh, I didn't see that. Yes sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hell yeah. Wait, is this it? Boy! Oh, I have too many videos that have the same title. Uh, How you living, baby? I'm doing good. I'm going viral. You're, you gotta stop saying I'm, I'm going oh, viral. I'm going viral. Look at my TikTok. Uh, what's, what's your TikTok? Connor eats pants TikTok. The this is the TikTok is going viral. Dude, I'm going huge. Okay, let's take a look. Oh. Something went wrong. Hold oh, on. we're back. Are we here? Not the penguins. Look, 1.4 million last night. Connor, I'm not gonna lie. It's viral. You might be going viral. Put you. your hands up. Put your damn hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. I'm working on it. Okay. I'll, I'll be waiting. Uh, put him up, sir. This is this is all I know how to do. This is literally all I know. I, I'm I'm new here. Just so put your hands up. Ease them up. Ease your hands up, sir. Sir. I f I did it. Oh. Put your <laughs> hands. And then she robbed you? Yeah, and then she robbed me. That rat. Have you done RP before? No, I'm against it. Yeah, I don't think it's really a you thing. What is that? Well, now I'm not against it. Well, because you're like... Don't say it's not a you thing. You're like a Ludwig personality on camera. Like, you don't really play a character. What if I was Ludwig in the world? That'd be funny. <laughs> I feel like it's almost sold. everyone. I'm so no. Valkyrie is like Raymon. Pokemon yeah, is like Pokemane. Kind of like me too, but like a bit more confused. What's your name? Uh, Cameron Francisco. Oh well, that's better. I thought it was gonna be like Connor Oops Pants or something. Everyone, I feel like is using a. a well, Saikuno's you know. This is how you don't do RP. Okay, uh, yeah, you. I mean, you are right. It was stupid, but I, I, I thought it was maybe kind of interesting in a way. Stop saying play checkers. I'm working on coming up with a list. For a gaming video challenge. What? A list for a gaming? Yeah. Like, I would need to beat a certain amount. Of, so there was this vi this guy made this video. He beat all these games in a row, back to back to back, no failure. Okay. And then somebody said, Ludwig, where are you at? To, like, you know. Right. And then they said he can't win a Fortnite game. Well. Which is hurtful. Well, when was the last time you won a Fortnite game? It's not about when I... Connor, whose fucking side are you on? Well, like, I mean, he's got a point. Play oh, Playboy Cardi, Cardi fan has a point. I see what he's You're taking at. Playboy Cardi fan side. I see what he's getting at. You haven't won a Fortnite He game. hasn't met your mother. That's true. I have. That's true. I'm in the trenches, and you won't even have my... That's true. I it's been know. probably four years. You could probably win. Maybe three. I'll I had, play with you. Join Fortnite. Fortnite. No, the, the rule... Well, I, I that's separate, but I'm not allowed to play with someone for this challenge. Oh, okay. Because then you, you get carried. Right. Oh, Overwatch. You need to try that. No, I'm against it. I, I was just saying that I'll ne I've never played an Overwatch game in my life. Dude, it's awesome. And I'm not breaking edge. They're saying it's like the... Who's they? Shake Drizzle? Yeah, Shake's been on it. It is 4,000 hours in the past yeah. year? It's like the Call of Duty of shooters. That's the... the. Uh, I'm, I feel like you know what I'm going to say, so I won't say it. It was pretty just kidding. It was a pretty silly statement. Don't... We're not going to add Russian roulette to the end of the challenge. So anyway, I'm working on my own version of this. To do, to achieve, to accomplish. Okay, you've done this before. I have. That's where we're. Not, we. I've found out is that I've actually done this exact idea. 
I feel like you've done this like four times. Ice. Yeah, point. I do it like every year. Yeah. But it's like I got I gotta let the people know that I can still freak my shit. You still got it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like you know one of you know why Barack Obama became president? There's a variety of reasons. There's one. This was on the campaign trail. Sorry, I lied. I should have said this is why Joe Biden won. Yeah, no, he did that on the campaign trail for Biden. I forgot. He won it for Joe with that, though. Because he's letting the people know that him and Joe can still do it. So anyway, that that's what I got to do. Well, not many people are saying this, but some some perhaps. Some perhaps are saying it. I took. I have to, <laughs> that's why you're doing is this the also Shake Drizzle? That's why you're doing the challenge. This is also Shake, Shake Drizzle. Drizzle Shake, ne Shake needs to he keep his mouth. That you don't got it he needs to keep his mouth to himself. Yeah. Well, how you doing? How you living? What are you up to? I'm going home. Are you headed out? Yeah. Oh, all right, man. I'm going home. All right, brother. See you. Good to see you. Bye. Oh wait, I'm afraid you didn't get it. Can you it's signed cool. by Tom himself. Yeah, every guy should have like either a jersey or like a ball that's signed. I think it's what dudes need. Yeah. It's I have a Matt Ryan, Tony Gonzalez ball. Really? Yeah. That's kind of lit. I fuck with both of them. Yeah, the Falcons, the greatest team. Damn, you know that's not true. <laughs> All right, well, excuse me. Connor, we're going to be on Dodgers fans this year. I'm down, hit me. I want to be a sports team fan. Today. We're going to watch sports teams. 1v1s would be kind of boring. Okay, look. I'm looking through. It's true we've done this in the past. However... I'm noticing a couple of discrepancies. This one, I believe, was kind of dumb. Because it was more so about beating all of them as fast as possible. Which led to me playing multiple of the games at the same time. If I remember correctly, that's what I did. Which is a little bit different than what we're doing here. Just do the regular challenge. I think I think the regular challenge, the faith of the challenge is this guy is good at a specific amount of games. So let's let's just go ahead and let's just let's just get this all out on paper. Let's just get this all out on paper. What's happening? This is my first Ludwig live stream. We're ideating. This guy is good at at mainly shooters, right? So that's why this guy has uh like or he's good at He's good at competitive games. He's got Melee. He's got Street Fighter. He's got Overwatch. He's got League of Legends. He's got Fortnite. And he's got Valo. These are the games that he's probably best at because they are just classic competitive games. I think if we were to throw this guy into the hells of GeoGuessr Silver... Oof, it'd be trouble. <laughs> it it would be trouble, okay? Because that's this is not an easy realm to jump in, okay? And so I think I should attempt this challenge, but a little more catered to me. So what I think is I pull out these guys, right? Just straight up, I'll pull these guys. I'll even include League of Legends. I'm actually, I'm kind of iffy on League of Legends, I won't lie. Not even because I'm scared of not being able to beat it. I just think it's kind of boring for you guys to watch. So this one, this one, I don't know. This one, maybe not. I'm going to put in quotes. We're going to bring over Melee. We're going to cut Street Fighter and Overwatch. I don't play them. I'd be lying to myself. Right? I don't, I, I just don't. I've, ne I've never played Overwatch. I play Street Fighter very seldomly. Most of my Street Fighter games, and this is a true stat, are against tens in my life. So now I think we need to fill in. If we're being real, I think we also get rid of, Le re rid of League of Legends. I think I think League's too boring. I, I and it's not even like a fear perspective. Again, I really just think it'd be boring to watch. And you know how I know it was boring for this guy's viewers as well. In his YouTube short, look at the league highlight. Yes! Let's go! When 
32 fuck that was it <laughs> that was that was the league highlight right the Fortnite highlight goes for another 20 seconds here let's take a look at the league highlights one more time that's not even gameplay, man. So I think we remove it from the gauntlet purely from an entertainment perspective. It is too boring to watch. Wait, Shiro's in chat? Shiro, are you here? Or are you guys doing the thing that you did yesterday where you keep saying somebody's here and they're not here? So I think we add on I think we add on, they have to be multiplayer games, right? They have to be multiplayer competitive games. Maybe, maybe I keep Street Fighter. I could maybe keep Street Fighter. I think Rocket League's a good one. I think Warzone's ridiculous. I think 2BRs is insane. I think Rocket League's a good one. And then I think we need one more. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we need one more. We could do SAP. We could do CS. We could just do chess. We could do Fall Guys. This is kind of tough, actually. I think Fall Guys would be fun. But maybe that's a bit... Maybe that's a bit tough. Throwing in Fall Guys is a bit risky, no? I would get stream sniped a lot. Actually, that's a good point. That's a good point. Actually, no. I, I, you know what? No, definitely no, no. I'm definitely no on the Fall Guys front. The stream sniping would be miserable. Hmm. I don't know if I, I don't think SAP's right because although SAP is multiplayer, it's weird. It's not technically like a one-on-one. -on -one. You're playing multiple people at different states, so it's a little weirder. I think. I guess you could do the group format for it. The eight person, yeah, maybe that works actually. Play arena. Okay, it's either going to be SAP, GeoGuessr, or Chess. And honestly, I might cut Rocket League. Honestly, I might cut Street Fighter Six. Give me Fortnite, Valo, Melee, SAP, GeoGuessr, Chess. I'll do those six. Because that's my shit. I could keep Street Fighter. I just... That seems boring. It's 90% what I do on the stream, and you're here right now. So it's worked so far. <laughs> so it's Fortnite, Melee, Valorant, Street Fighter, GeoGuessr, Chess. I'm going to remove Sap. These six games, you have to win them back to back to back to back to back. I think it's a good list. Honestly, I think I could do this today. This is kind of free. 
Ah, uh, no, we're not going to do it, though. I, I, I know I just said I could do it, and this is maybe a bit of a tease. But I did, I did in the title say that today we would be playing Battle Royale, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? So let's at least give that a shot. Let's give, let's give Who Wants to Be a Millionaire a shot. Look, you've heard of the biggest Battle Royales. I think, isn't that a category in Cutie's show? Am I crazy? Streamer award nominations? It is, right? All right, ready? Let's try this shit. What are you playing? I'm going to tell you right now, baby. Give me... Give me... Give me Zav. All right, chat, we've heard of Battle Royales, obviously. We got Fortnite, we got Warzone, Fall Guys, there's even Battle Royale Tetris. Pretty much every genre has been infected. But for the first time, at least that I've ever seen, they've come out with a Battle Royale trivia game. And it simply goes by the name, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? We've played the game on stream before, but they've added a patch that now adds a 50-person Battle Royale option. And I'm going to attempt to beat it today. Online multiplayer, United States. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. <sighs> okay. Although I am a trivia god, I have two degrees from the Harvard of the Southwest, Arizona State University. I am a very knowledgeable person who's very good at trivia and what have you. I almost beat Northern Lion in a trivia contest without cheating once. I'm worried about cheaters. Because most of the time, if I play a battle royale like Fortnite and someone stream snipes me, they go to kill me. But if I kill them, then the stream snipers are dead and I get to play the game normally. In this one, however, if people are stream sniping, I don't know about it because they can just be Googling Gary's searching the answers to every single question that comes their way. So I'm worried about people cheating. And as someone who never cheats himself, I find that bad and also wrong. Okay. Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Are you guys ready to play today? Yes, I am. Start right away. Okay, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? 26 people in. This new question shouldn't give you a hard time, in theory. Okay, so it starts out with just a regular ass question. You get 15 seconds to answer. Do you get any lifelines? You get no lifelines. And I guess if you get it wrong, you're out. Which of these is a means of keeping a farm animal in its field? An electric fence. I used to love touching electric fences in farms. Because it gives you usually a mild zap. Four Good dead? What's next? Okay. Four dead. 21 Googling Gary's left. It's time to move on to a new question. What type of instrument is a ukulele? String? String? String, string, string. This is easy. This is easy. I have a dearth of knowledge. A breadth of uh, information in my head. Okay. That scared me. It looks like we have an exceptional cast today. Barely anyone has been eliminated. That's true, sir. So let's move on to a whole new question. Which of these U.S. states is landlocked? Oregon? No. Louisiana? No. New Hampshire? No. Arkansas? Yeah. 
Come on, you gotta know about Hampton Beach in New Hampshire. You gotta know about Hampton Beach. The police play there sometimes. The band. It looks like that question. Wait, I'm gonna first try this. Lot of the this is only a YouTube short. Well, I'm sorry, you, you guys thought it was a YouTube video. We got a YouTube short coming in hot. Are you ready for this new question? Where was the battle known as Custer's Last Stand? I believe it's Little Bighorn. Little Bighorn. Lock me in. Bang. That We have to have at least five people eliminated on that. Like Two! Oh, you guys today. are such Googlers. They're such Googlers. Eliminated. How about we make this part of the six games instead of Fortnite? We can move on to this new question. And which of these is gravy usually served? Uh, gravy, gravy. Whoa, what the fuck? I think it's boat. Gravy train. Gravy train. No, it's boat! Shit! Let me switch! Let me switch! Oh, unfortunately, that question was deadly for you. What a shame. Now I know that if you click, it locks you out. So, let's move on to a whole new question. Okay, I look, I can explain. I can explain. <sighs> so, look, I obviously I know it's a, a gravy boat. However, as I'm doing it, I remember suddenly I remember suddenly the phrase gravy train. I don't know what the hell that phrase means. I just know that it's a phrase. I just know that Gravy Train is a phrase. Thank you, Mekio, for the 25 months. Gravy Train isn't even a phrase? You guys are dumb. Gravy Train. It's someone who uh, uh, makes a lot of There's money for very of little effort. Trains. Okay? It's a it's a real term, everybody. And, and because I have... Here's the issue. You would think being an English major, I'd be better at some stuff like this. Oftentimes, I got too much knowledge in my head, right? And they're fighting with each other. My mind palace is full. I need a bigger, I need a bigger hotel or something. Make that a YouTube short. I got a YouTube short for free. Sorry, that was inappropriate. You're thinking a crazy train? <clears throat> I, I, I. Thank you, Bryce, for the 14 months. Day 15 of commenting on a YouTube video until Ludwig realizes me. I also have a YouTube channel, too, and have 47K subscribers. Thanks. Oh, you just got timed out by a mod. Whoops. Well, I did read it. I did read your desire to be perceived. Ben K, thank you the 25 months. Chiseled, thank you, the five gifted. What are we booting the game up or what? All right, I think we're I think we're ready. Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Let's start right away. All right, let's start right away. Fifteen questions, four lifelines. There's not a four lifelines. That's Kipo. That's Kappa. In which state are cities of San Diego and San Francisco? Dream. Come on, man. Give me something. Give me, give me something. Ribbit, rabbit. Think of it. Eighteen months. If somebody gets eliminated off this, in the U.S. only lobby. Okay. That's right. Nobody should have gotten eliminated there. Well done. I think we all agree that we can move on to this new question. <laughs> That's crazy. What a 
crazy question. I guess, look, it should start easy, right? It should, you want it to start easy. Didn't pose any problems for the majority of the participants. I'm going to well assume done. that your mom asked you to walk the dog and you had to get away from your computer. I'm going to assume Are that you for your this sake. New question? I'm going to go out on a limb. It's Arkansas. Son of a bitch, I called that. A lot of How are we losing game. people? Your adversaries are formidable. Thanks. Or, or unless you're complimenting them. I guess I'm someone else's New adversary. Up. They put you in the low IQ lobby. Which mushy vegetables are traditionally eaten with fishy chip, fish and chips? Mushy peas. This is not an American question, by the way. I'm in the U.S. server. Don't give me this British shit ever again. Please keep all Union Jack questions across Many the pond. Are still in the running for the win. Try to hold on to your position for as long as possible. I think we all agree that we can move on to this new question. Northern Lights lock it in A. The Aurora Borealis, totally confined within your kitchen. Yes. This is this is this is just this is just getting the nerves out. No problem with that question. It didn't eliminate a lot of people in the end. Bravo. They used to call me El Nino when I played uh, basketball when I in, in sixth grade. New question coming up. That's I don't know. I, I made that up. That's a lie. They call me Waterboy. The capital of the state of Washington shares its name with which ancient site? Fuck, fuck, it's Olympia or Athens. Wait, oh shit, oh, shit. Uh, Olympia, I think it's Olympia. I'm pretty sure there's an, I think there's an Athens in maybe Georgia. It looks like we have an exceptional cast today. Barely anyone has been eliminated. There's someone in Georgia. There, it is in Georgia, yeah. I'm being honest. Will you be able to answer this new question? As Where well? is an unrealistic person said to live? They're said to live in... What the fuck? You live in Cloud Cuckoo. I've never heard the cloud part. That's what's throwing me off here. I've heard of Cuckoo Land, though. So I'm going to go in Cuckoo Land. But I've never heard of the cloud. That They're throwing that. That's Flair. I've never seen that. You're living in Cloud Cuckoo Land. Like, what? No problem with that question. It didn't eliminate a lot of people in the end. Bravo. Bravo. Okay, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Come on. And here's a new question that I hope won't In a you. book, what would normally be printed on the fly leaf? Ooh. Fuck! Shit. 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 The fly leaf. Give me nothing. Give me nothing. Because because all these other things are oftentimes printed together. I'm going nothing. I don't know what it is. Okay. There's not like a specific it page when like you read that. a book that's just because the that's author's name. I've never seen that. But there is an Bravo empty page in every book. I never knew it was called the Flyleaf, though. Will you be able to answer this? New Food served with spinach well. is described as what? I think it's Florentine. I think it's Florentine or Julienne. I'm gonna go Florentine. It's not Julienne. It could be Florentine. I, I don't know the last two. Je suis français. Je suis là. And your score Come on, baby. You Come on, baby. Far. Keep going. I'm French. I'm French. I think Julienne's a slicing method. You will be asked a new question. Maybe that's wrong. Now. BEL is the official international com uh, Olympic Committee abbreviation for which country? I would assume Belgium. I would assume Belgium. 
No, maybe Belgium's BLJ. Maybe it's Belarus. I'm gonna go Belgium. Fuck, I'm scared! I feel like Belarus is BRS or something. I don't think it's Belize or Benin. Big down! Big down! Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Now let's go to the next question. If you don't, in total, how many U.S. states begin with the letter uh, M? Michigan, Mississippi, Maine, Minnesota, Montana. Uh, uh. Fuck, fuck, M New Mexico, Maryland. Eight. I don't know. Eight. Oh my God! That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, that was a lucky Maybe guess. I won't lie. I, I only game. rattled off six. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, okay. I, there, there's no time to think in this. You How would you properly address an archbishop? Uh, me lord? Your grace? I would, I, would, I would assume it's your grace. Or maybe your highness? I, you wouldn't go my lord, for sure. That would be your grace or your highness. I think this is wrong. I think this is wrong. Wow. Look, okay. Like flies, and you're still in wow. The Fuck, that was crazy. Now let's go to the next question. If what is the name of the evil money lender in Charles Dickens' Bleak House? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to go Jaggers. I, I don't I don't know why I'm going Jaggers. I'm going Jaggers. Small weed. That question was deadly for a lot of participants, including that was you. tough. I'm sorry, but it's that was over. tough. Dude, I actually fucking crushed that for this new eliminatory question. What is the deepest lake in the world? Oh, wow. Pfft, I don't know what I, I would have answered Vostok. It's the Baikal Lake. Wow, I, well, no, I would not have gotten that. That question was a toughie and did a lot of damage. Even I didn't know the answer. <laughs> Imagine that. Questions follow each other and are not alike. The proof with this new question. What is the name of Dr. Evil's small sidekick? Mini-me. I can't believe this is the final question. That was so easy. That was so easy. Someone got it wrong! Okay, wait. This has inspired me. I don't know if you guys feel the same way I do. I feel inspired. Seeing the last question be something so painfully easy is making me want to get there. You've never heard of Dr. Evil? Really? You never heard of Dr. Evil or his son, Seth Green? Is it Seth Green? If anyone wants free copy of the game, here's a Steam key. What the fuck? Free Steam key for the game in chat from Nave. Jeff, thank you for 25 months, man. Appreciate it.
isn't this kind of a tough game format considering how is easy it is for people to cheat well i think the i think the reality is it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if people cheat because if you get the 15th question right you still win right Scorching Shark, thank you very much. It feels like, can there be 50 winners? Oh no, it's point-based. And how quickly you answer is how many points you get. Oh. So then cheaters are going to get punished for being slow. Okay, that's fine. 27. Okay, great. Get me in this bitch. How is this any better than single player? You maybe feel better if you get a question wrong that other people got wrong, but it's not much different. What is the name for a plot in a garden where flowers are grown? A bed. Flower bed. Call my girl a flower the way I be bedding her. Okay, great. Great. It looks like we have an exceptional <laughs> cast today. Barely anyone has been minus eliminated. two. Young Tokyo, think of the one year. Your new question is ready. Good luck. The famous American singer is Whitney Houston. Dude, what a silly question. I feel like there's other famous Whitney's, but is Whitney Cummings a singer? What does a pyramid button do? It just shows you where you're at, but there's no lifelines. This, I'm not gonna lie. This feels super shittily implemented. <laughs> like, no disrespect to the devs, but they kept the same voice lines and then put it in a multiplayer format, and then there are no lifelines. This feels a little bit... On which body of water is Chicago located? It's uh the lake... Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Uh, I think it's... Okay, <laughs> okay. Dude, I figured it couldn't be a canal, but Erie was throwing me off. I won't lie. I won't lie. I almost lost that. I think we all agree that we Which of these is the uh which of these was a long running TV game show? Probably Supermarket Sweep. I don't know. It's the only one that looks like a game show to me. I don't know. I don't know. None of them mean anything to me at all. How about cash cab? No problem with that question. It didn't eliminate a lot of people in the end. Okay. Bravo. Hosted by Dean Winston. Yourself, Bert, you need to get in here. What is the meaning of the word frivolous? Ah, uh, English major. A silly. Bit silly, bit frivolous, foolish in a way. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Ready for this new question? I am. John Fogarty led a rock group called Credence Clearwater Re Re Revival, I think. Revival? Clearance Clearwater Rescue. Return. Clearance Clearwater Release. Clearance Clearwater. Clearance Clearwater Rescue. Clearance Clearwater Return. Return or Revival. Return or Revival. Return or Revival. Revival. Okay. 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 I That was... That was... Okay. Trust your no gut. Trust your gut. Always trust your gut. It didn't eliminate a lot of people in the end. Bravo. And here's a new question that I hope In economics, what does the letter D stand for in the abbreviation gross domestic product?
I don't think you can turn on anime questions for the multiplayer. You kind of have to know that as an American. It's like the thing that we flex the most. Hold on to your position for as long as possible. Now let's go to the next question, if you don't From the early 1920s, what began to replace hydrogen as the gas used by airships to give lift? To give lift? Early 1920s. Helium? Helium, perhaps? Helium. Helium. I, I don't think nitrogen is able to give lift. Or xenon. And it wouldn't be oxygen. It's helium. 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 This is because the Hindenburg, right? That was a hydrogen it wasn't a problem for any of our candidates. airship. Excellent. I overthought that one, but that was easy. Damn, if we have not lost a lot of people here. A lot of now Googling Garys amongst us. Here's Complete the, the title question. of the Noel Coward play, Private... Oh, wow. I'm going to assume Investigator. I don't know. I don't know. I have no clue. Which one was it? Oh, lives. Fuck. The road to the final is three got it wrong. What a joke, dude! They're such little Weasley rats. They're such Weasley little rats. You're telling me three people got that wrong? Three? Yeah, right. <sighs> How does everyone know it? I don't think everybody knows it, but I think... Oh, wow. Okay, here's the issue now. I'm the going off the rails on the gravy train. That's why. I'm going off the rails on the gravy train. Dude... You think it's funny how there were 20 people entering and now all of a sudden there's about 40? Where do you think the 10 extra people who have logged on came from? It looks like everyone coincidentally is trying to play who wants to be a millionaire today. Hmm. How interesting. How interesting. You sons of bitches. No cheating. Don't close out of my stream because I want to keep your viewership, but minimize it and put the audio really far down. <laughs> no cheating. Great day to join us on who wants to be a millionaire? Who wants to be a millionaire? Good luck to you for this new question. Which of these colors does not appear in the U.S. flag? Red, white, blue, and we got none of that green. They probably heard me. Keep I them playing for two hours so they can't refund the game. Keep them here. Keep them dumb. Keep them poor. Willem, thank you the five dollars. I'm cheating. Jesus, Willem. Have a little respect for yourself. If any of you got that question didn't pose any problems for the majority of the participants. Well done. Dude, we might need to do weekly trivia Let's streams. To we got to question. talk. That's tough. In which train do Harry Potter and his fellow pupils travel to school? It's the Hogwarts Express. I like to call it the, uh, I like to call it the, uh, I like, to, uh, I like to call it the turf train, uh, J JK Rowling's a bitch, pl uh, please subscribe to my channel. <laughs> no problem with that question. It didn't eliminate a lot of people in the end. Bravo. New question coming up. Good luck to you. Which of these supposedly transforms at the sight of a full moon? Mummy, werewolf, vampire, phoenix. Me playing basketball. 
I become a different beast under a full moon. A beast that can only make it rain. That question really was easy in the end. Almost no one got tripped up by it. Bravo. Thank you. Thanks for saying bravo. I appreciate it. It made me feel better. And your what is the name of a pen question. knife with many attachments and tools? A Swiss army knife. I have one of these. Nick got it for me for Christmas. It's a Nintendo employee Swiss Army knife that you get for like no 10 years at Nintendo question. or something. It didn't eliminate a lot of people in the end. Bravo. I think we all agree that we can move on. Key Largo question. is part of which US state? I'm assuming Florida, but that's only because the Florida Keys and because Mar-a-Lago, which is Donald Trump's estate, which is also in Florida. But I don't, I've never heard of Key Largo ever. That question really was easy in the end. Almost that is Mar-a-Lago? Oh. Bravo. I didn't know. It's one of the keys. Here's a key for you guys. You for Make your own coffee question. at home. Great way to save money. If you take back something you said, you are said to eat your words. Buddy, if they wanted to cheat and win, I don't think they're listening no to your answers. Okay, it fuck you, buddy. I haven't been wrong yet, have I? Bravo. Yeah. Now that you've released the pressure, Which of the following the took place for the first time in New York City in 1970? Marathon, Woodstock Festival, General Strike, Earthquake. Woodstock was not in New York City. There was definitely not a first strike. It's got to be Marathon. It can't be Woodstock. There we go. There we go. Bang. Bang. The Marathon's a relatively new phenomenon, I think. At least the very official 26.2. Because there was different length races everywhere before. Which word follows fire to give a gas found in mines? Dust, dog, damp, dank. Which word follows fire? Fire dust, fire dog, fire damp, fire dank. Fire dust, fire dust. Fire dust, I assume? Fire dust. I don't know. Fire dust. I assume? I don't know. Fire dank sounds crazy. What is fire damp? Fuck, dude. Wow. That question was deadly for a lot of participants, including you. I'm sorry, but it's over. Time to move on to a new question. What? What are we doing here? We get it, man. You ran a half marathon. You heard? I don't like to talk about it. So it's 13.1. I don't like to talk about it. It's 13. Point, I don't like to talk about it. You're so skibbity. You're so phantom tax. Sticking out your get for the Rizzler. Atriox said you struggled. I did not struggle, even a little bit. Right after I did it, I wanted to send him a text of me and say, I could have done that twice. What place did you finish? 21st. Otto said you struggled. How would he know? He was in front of me. 
He didn't see me. I saw him. Look, here's the reality. You know what I did the day before? The day before my half marathon. I played basketball. Okay? That's where I, that's where I'm at. Day after I hit bench, light work. It's light work. Oh, look at this knife. Well, that's a fun one. I didn't finish last. I finished 21 out of 23. 115 bench PR. Billy, if somebody here had a bench PR of 115, your words not, would not be very kind to them. There's nothing wrong with having a 115 bench PR as long as you're pushing yourself to your limit, Billy. That's what I think. Call me controversial. I'll take it. Your new question is ready. Good luck. Crossword clues are usually divided into across and down. Oh, no. Across and... Across and up? Across and down. I think. I think it's down. No Baldur's Gate today. I think we're doing Baldur's Gate tomorrow. It looks like we have an exceptional cast today. Barely anyone has been eliminated. I think we all agree that we can move Who would you most like questions. who would you be most likely to consult if your teeth hurt? A dentist. <laughs> Stupid joke. Stupid joke. Can you stream Baldur's Gate on YouTube? I do stream it on YouTube. I stream it on members only streams, those. Though. So they're wrong. How far am I? I'm still act one, but I'm in the underdark, if that gives you any info. And I've just traveled to some new area. I don't know what it's called. In the Underdark. Still in the running for the win. Try to hold on to your position for as long as possible. So let's move on to a whole new question. In the pantomime, Cinderella loses a slipper made of glass. In the pantomime. I don't know what pantomime means here, but. What an achievement. Everyone Young Tokyo, thank you the gifted. To that question, thus putting no one in danger. New question coming up. Good luck to you. A chancel is a feature of what kind of building? A chancel. Got to be a church. Just it's got to be. I don't think airports got anything, maybe a landing strip. Can't imagine it's a warehouse. Maybe it's a prison. But I think it's a church. There we go. There we go. Come on. Light work. Light work. That question didn't pose any problems for the majority of the participants. Well done. Thank you. Sean, Chungus, thank you the memberships. Host kind of looks like Ludwig. For this new question? Are you ready for this new question? Leaves of three, let it be, is a warning associated with which outdoor plant? Poison ivy. You should try out Buckshot Roulette. I kind of want to play it. Think of the 10 Fruit Shrooms. With that question, it didn't eliminate a lot of people in the end. Bravo. Okay. All right. A popular children's novel by Cressid Cressida Cowell is How to Train Your Dragon. It's a movie. I assume it's based off a novel. If there is a competing how to train your monkey for children to watch, then fuck me. There we go. There we go. I don't think how to train your python would be inappropriate. There novel. There are still a lot of competitors in the game. Your adversaries are formidable.
Okay, what do we got here? What do we got? A new question. Which former world leader was born William Jefferson Blight IV in 1946? Bill Clinton. That took me a long time to get. The hardest is yet to come. But I'm sure that you I was reading through all the French all the names. The the I didn't even read Bill for a while. Keep going. The game is off to a good start. But Clavicle is the anatomical Here's name for question. which bone in the body? Collarbone. Come on, baby! Come on! Many participants are still in the running for the win. Half left. So Half left here. Your position for as long as possible. Oh, nice. This new question is now waiting. Which of the following is a Scottish word for a colors. church? Oh shit! Crank that. No. Kin? No. I think it's got to be Kirk. It, well, it can't be Kin, because that's a different thing. It can't be Crank. It's either Kurt or Kirk. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume it's Kirk. Because Kin is like next of Kin, and Crank is like cranking your fucking hog. It could be Kurt, but I think it's Kirk. Yeah, okay, good. There we go, no there we go. Deduction. Deductive reasoning. In the end. Bravo. I hope you have recovered from your emotions. By what name was the character played by question. Angie Dickinson on Police Woman known as? I think I think Peppers I think it's I think Peppers the most effeminate here. I think salt and mustard are masculine in the eyes of a writer. It looks like that question was a piece of cake for a lot of the competitors. Bravo to all of you. And here's a new question that I hope won't worry you. By what first names was Detective Lacey known as on the TV cop series Cagney and Lacey? I think I know this one. I think it's I think it's um I think it's Peggy Sue or Peggy Louise. Ah, uh, fuck. I'm going to go Peggy Sue. I know it's not Mary Jo. It's Peggy. It's Mary Beth! Sorry. It's over for you this time. But it was honestly an interesting game. Sticking out your cat! Let's go for this new eliminatory question. Sticking at your yap for the Rizzler. You're so skibbity. You're so phantom tax. I just want to be your Sigma. I'm not almost 30. I'm in my mid 20s. Zero respect in this chat. Sticking out your gat for the Rizzler. You're so skibbity. You're so phantom tax. Sticking out your gat. 
for the Rizzler. Twenty nine this summer? Ah, not sure yet. To be honest, not sure. Might not lock it in. What is Phantom Tax? It's Phantom Tax. From the creator Phantom. Because he would go into... Uh, he's part of AMP, Kai's room and other creators' rooms, and he would take some food from them, and he called it Phantom Tax. To the show. Answer 15 questions correctly, and you win the million. This is who Did you get your motorcycle's recall million. fixed? Yeah. Our team of editors offers you a new quest. Which one of these foods traditionally partners chips? Fish, 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 fish. fish. You're a middle-aged man. I'm not a middle-aged man. Look, I'm an I'm a man. I'm a whole fucking man. But I'm in my mid twenties. A little respect. If I retire at the same age that Matt Pat retired, it means I have another decade to go before I retire. Think about that. Think about that. Let's move on to a whole new question. Which of these might be caused by a blow to the head? Concussion? Wait, yeah. Wait, which of these might be caused by a blow to the head? Yeah, concussion. What would you do during your retirement? I would start a bakery and I'd make bread. That question didn't seem to pose a problem for anyone. Well done. Trust yourself and your acquaintances. If you're aware of the question. latest news and development, where are you set to have your finger on the pulse? We're closer to the year 3000 than 1995. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> yeah, and Shohei Otani's contract for the Los Angeles Dodge Dodgers is so large that he could give... Two million dollars to every American, and still have two million Many left over for himself. Are still in the running for the win. Try to hold on to your position for as long as possible. Let's go for this new eliminatory question. Death Valley, the lowest point in America, is in which U.S. state? Isn't Florida the lowest point? Relative to the position that we look at the map and globe on, but not to the Earth's core, which is the question here. How many events are there in the sporting competition called the decathlon? DECA, DECA is 10. Twelve would be the DO decathlon. Dodecath, I think that's right. Dodecathlon. Thank you, Dan Danny, for the sub. People in the end. Bravo. So let's move on to a whole new question. If digital is the adjective, what is the related noun? Digital is the adjective. What? Finger? Because digits? What the fuck is this question? What? What does that mean? What did that mean? That was dumb as shit. I know fingers are called digits, but what the hell was that? Will you be able to answer this new Factor question as eight. Well? Contributes on the clotting of what? Arteries?
Wait, do they call it digital because we use it with our hands? And that's how we transfer information to technology? Blood! And this is the end of your great saga. How sad. I didn't know that. Will we see you again soon? I actually don't even know if it's true. The questions follow each other and are not alike. The proof with this new question. Arteries don't clot? Wait, I feel like I've heard the term arteries clotting before. They clog? Okay, that is cringe. That is really... You're telling me it's clog versus clot? I'm cringing. I'm cringing, baby girl. I'm so fucking phantom tax right now, man. I gotta stop saying this. Hey Ludwig, I have a question. I have a, do a job with a Dodger. It's less than ideal. Should I take it? It fits your dream company. It's usually better to get a job at a company you really like, even if you don't like the job you're going to do, because it's easier to move within the company than it is to work somewhere else and then go to that company. But that's only if you want to stay at the company. Which of these is not typically used to measure time? It looks like that question was a piece of cake for a lot of the competitors. Bravo to all of you. Good luck to you for this new question. In Snow White, to what does the Wicked Queen ask the question, am I the fairest of them all? What the fuck is Factor 8? It sounds like the shit that they have in 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 that superhero show to make superheroes. Trust yourself and your acquaintances for this new question. What is an alternative uh, alternative name for the aubergine eggplant? No. That question didn't seem to pose a problem for anyone. Well done. Let's go for this new eliminatory question. Where did the Wright brothers make their first powered flight? Kitty Hawk. Thank you, Ethanos, for the five gifted. It looks like that Dude, nobody's gotten it wrong. Candidates. Excellent. Am I crazy here? Good luck to you for this new question. Immediately prior to becoming the U.S. president, Bill Clinton had which of these offices? Wasn't he? I don't know. I'm assuming state governor. It looks like we have an exceptional cast today. Barely anyone has been eliminated. Governor of Arkansas. Yeah, that's right. There's a streak of all presidents being governors. Up. Good luck to you. Bottlenose is a species of dolphin. Ooh, 
Llewellyn, thank you for 23 months. Oh, wait. Factor 8 is good. It clots your blood when you have a cut. Oh, clotting's a good thing. Clogging's a bad thing. And here's a new question that I hope won't worry you. By what names are the musicians Tom Rowlands and Ed Simons known as? It's two boy names. I'm going Ke Chemical Brothers. Lock it in. Many participants are still in the running for the win. Try to hold on to your position for as long as possible. The game is off to a good start, but you shouldn't stop there. Here Lake Nasser is on which African river? Give me the Nile. I'm not going to pretend I know. I just know the Nile is a thing. <laughs> and it's a it was a big deal, man. That that hey, that guy was a big deal. That's why we're here right now is that river. In the game. Your adversaries are formidable. You will be asked a new question now. Which US police series was known in French as L'Homme de Fer? Man, man, what does F-E-R even fucking mean? Fer, isn't that iron? Fer, iron? Ironside. I'm gonna go Ironside. I'm French, bitch. I'm French as fuck in this bitch. Mm. Mm. Everyone read that question quickly. Oh, you all got it! Everyone got that! The Google and Gary's are embarrassing themselves. Will you be able to answer this new question as well? What is the name? What is the first name of the Shakespeare character named Falstaff? This is an easy one. If you don't know this one, you just you didn't go to high school. Lock me in without uh, any hesitation. A classic John, James, Joseph. Ah! I should have stuck with John. That question was deadly for a lot of participants, including you. I'm sorry, but it's over. <laughs> The game is getting tougher now with this brand new question. All right, LG. LG and I'm going to move on. All right, come on, we got this. Nash, thank you for the membership. What do you have degrees in again? English literature and journalism. I don't know if you guys have seen Maya. She's been trying to learn how to kickflip on stream. It's not going well. Hello and welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire.
But I think I want to try that next week. It's time to move on to a new question. Like that. I might try to do a stream where I just stay live until I learn how to do a kickflip. Because I think I can do one. Our team of editors offers you a new question. I think I can just do a kickflip straight up. Do an ollie first? I've done an ollie. I can do an ollie. What an achievement. Everyone found the right answer to that question. I feel like it's easy but as long as no you are open to learning and not scared I think of getting hurt. Agree that we can move on to this new question. Which of these is the name of an American Olympian who won gold medals in 1984, 1988, 1992, and 1996? Jerry Lewis. No! It's Carl Lewis. The road to the final is fraught with dangerous questions. Fuck. And one of them, unfortunately, knocked you out. Sorry. And let's go for a whole new question. All right, LG, LG, actual LG. That was a bad LG. Actual LG. I don't know what I was thinking with Jerry. Hmm. I was distracted thinking about my ability to kickflip, which I can do. I will do. No, you can't change your answer after you type it in or click it. Jerry Lewis on the gravy train. Okay, relax, buddy. Cameron, thank you for the membership. I'm not playing Valo today. There's a Valo in-house, I believe. I was, I was asked to play, but I'm busy. I got a dinner I got to go to tonight. So I won't be able to. I think it's like at like 7 or 8. My dinner's like at 8. Ot Dre, thank you for the membership. Kevin, thank you for the membership. Hop on the new league season. Speed on to the challenger, perhaps. Welcome. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Sarah, thank you for the membership. Leve never replied to me, no. Let's go for this new eliminatory question. It's gonna be a draft frogs for the Valo team at the invitational. What is an unusual name for frozen rain? I've not played the finals. Speedrun to gold would be impressive for you, little bro. Hurtful. That question didn't pose any. Problem, Hunter Mink, thank the majority you. Majority of the participants. Well done. It's time to move on to a new question. Which part of the ship shares its name with a collection of playing cards? Thomas, think of the five gifted. How do I get in touch with off-brand? I want to intern. Nah, you don't. I mean, you can do a contact email, but... At its core, the desire to work somewhere... It looks like that question I don't even think necessarily helps you to get a job at the place. Excellent. Although you might be dope and swag and awesome. You a new question. What are the usual colors of the suits in a standard pack of cards? Black and red.
I hate off-brand. Can guy I get an internship? <laughs> Now I'm on board. That question really was easy in the end. Almost no one got tripped up by it. Bravo. Are you ready for this new question? With which basketball team is Michael Jordan most associated? Uh, Charlotte Bobcats. That was that guy's villain origin story. I'm not trying to dog that guy. But the reality is... If you work at off-brand, it's because you are a good fit for the job, not because you want to work there. A lot of competitors in the game. And then also, if you work at off-brand, that means basically, at, at at its core, my job is to make sure you get paid. This new question shouldn't give you a hard time. And I don't necessarily have the desire to increase the amount of people I'm paying. I don't know if we're expanding that much at the moment. I don't know if you've seen it, but the esports world, not exactly booming per se. Mog Swamp, think of the raid, appreciate it. All right, we're doing great. We were doing great. We're playing Battle Royale, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? We've currently answered five correctly. This is our last game before moving on. Our team of editors offers you a new question. Chicago's Wrigley Field is primarily a venue for baseball. Not Lucas singing the membership. Okay. All right. Damn, we lost five on that one. Give me more sports. Plum, thanks for the 16 months. Hello, Mog Swamp. What shape is the room in the White House? Are we talking about that oval office? We talking about that hexagonal house? The pentagonal place. Okay, we're good. We're good. Newtman, thank you for the 25 months. Jelly, thank you for the 25 months. Question. It didn't eliminate a lot of people in the end. Bravo. Viewers are stream subbing me. Yeah. Isaac, thank you for the 15. At the pace you're going, you're John, think of the five. Short work Which of these is an essential thickening ingredient of North American dish gumbo? A thickening ingredient. I, th I, would, I would assume okra. It definitely ain't olives or oregano or oranges. But I, I don't know. Lock me in, baby! I chef it up nice. I chef it up nice in the kitchen. It looks like we have an exceptional cast today. Barely anyone has been eliminated. Thank you very much, Deja, for the for the six ninety nine. Chungles, Chungies, sorry, Chungies. Thank you the five gifted. The game is getting. Okay, we're fun. almost halfway through. With Lock in. Which question. of these titles identifies a nineteenth century novel, not a popular song? I'm going to go Vanity Fair because of the magazine. <laughs> That's my only reason. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was, that was it. I was it. I, I literally, I don't know what the fuck the song thing was about. I just know about Vanity Fair, the magazine, so I clicked it. Yeah, I have an English degree. I cheated. You ready to I didn't read a book. This next In which year did protests over the invasion of Afghanistan lead to the U.S. withdrawal from the Olympics? Oh, my fucking God. Oh, uh, God, this is the 80s. Oh, God. Okay, wait, hold up, hold up. 2004, uh, 2000, um, 90, 88, 88, 88. It's got to be 88. It was at 80? Dude. It looks like that question brought you bad luck. So hard. Eliminated. It's so hard. Fuck, I got eight. The game is getting tougher I got now eight. with this brand new question. 
God damn it. All right, one more. I can do this. I can do this, man. Keep my mind fresh, keep my mind sharp. H O R Hort 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 Torre Welcome to the Torre Guys ready to go Horut, Horet, Horet, Let's go for this new eliminatory Fuck. question. Which phrase means two consecutive failed service uh, serves in tennis? That is a double fault. That's so. Fitting. Yo, the game has anti cheat. If you alt tab, it automatically kicks you out. That's crazy. It has anti-cheat. My mind is blown right now. That's actually kind of lit. Use your phone. Well, I'm not trying to cheat. I was trying to play Wordle. Just to be clear, I wasn't like... <laughs> double monitor. Again, I'm not trying to cheat. You guys are like coming up with like w ways to cheat. That's not the goal of this... <laughs> Thank you the 10 gifted Jason Peach. Oh yeah, lock me in Albania. That's fine, Peru. Let's start Croatia. Let's go Peru. Thailand. Australia. China. India. Indonesia. Philippines. Are you ready for this? Wait, wait, question? I don't want to get kicked out. Which of these is a large choice steak? Cut from a sirloin beef T-bone. Watermelon, thank you for the, the membership. That question did Three dead! Problems, I bet they're the cheaters. The participants. Well done. Well done. It's time to move on to a new question. Corn. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. I thought the answer to this question was corn, but it's in the question. That's crazy. Okay. Okay. 
Vegetable. On God, I thought corn was like like meal or starch or some shit. I didn't realize it was a vegetable. I mean, I guess I did, but. I think we feels like a grain. The New York Yankees are a professional team in which sport? Uh, crying, <laughs> you know? Uh, how about uh, gloating about previous successes that they've never been able to recapture in the 21st century? Uh, baseball. Many participants are still in the running for the win. Try to hold on to your position for as long as possible. Literally one in 2009. Your new question is ready. Sorry, I only started Good following luck. when the Boston Red Sox won in 20... What is that, 13? Which surname follows Gunlock to give the name of two craftsmen? Smith. Was it 2018 for the Red Sox? Damn, time flies. <laughs> Buddy, you have a Shohei Otani jersey? It looks like we have an exceptional He's cool. cast today. Earl, think of the membership. Really anyone has been eliminated. Every time I read the last name Carter, I think of Rush Hour. Let's go for this new eliminatory question. What was the surname of the first father and son to hold office of U.S. Uh, president? I believe it was Adams. John and John Quincy Adams. Number two and four? Five? No, no, no. Number two and six. It looks like that question was a piece of cake for a lot of the competitors. Bravo to all of you. New question. I believe it's Washington, Adams, Lucky. Jefferson, Monroe. I'm forgetting. An illegal or dishonest scheme is oftentimes called a racket. Hence racketeering. Madison. Madison Monroe. James Madison. Many participants are still in the running for the win. Try to hold on to your position for as long as possible. At the pace you're going, you're going to make short work of this new question. Okay. He's got to be a car maker. <laughs> if this dude isn't a car maker, his family might want to sue because he should know about what's happened. All right, we're doing good. Competitors in the game. Your adversaries are formidable. <sighs> All right, come on. One third gone. The questions follow each other and are not on the TV alike. series of the same the name. What is the last name of Sabrina the Teenage Witch? Oh fuck! I think it's. Oh shit! I think it's Cauldron. If it's Spellman, I'm gonna kill myself. Guys, I gotta go. <laughs> and this is the end of your Shit! How sad. Will we see you again soon? No. Closing out. God damn it. Philippines, Malaysia is adjacent to the answer. Singapore? Malaysia is adjacent to the answer. What the fuck? Brunei. Oh, it was Brunei. Look at that. Look at that. We get there. All right. Let's, let's, get, let's get a few dailies going, huh? Oh, I can do this Poke Doku. I can do this Poke Doku. Uh, travel. 
What else do I need, chat? What else is going on here? We got uh, Joey retiring is crazy. I'm pretty sure it was clickbait. Connections? No, I'm tired of uh, Contexto. I'll do a Luddle. I'm not playing right now, Chad. I'm, I know you guys can't see. Uh, what else we got? We got... Um, let me do mini crossword, New York Times. Costs Codal. Michael, thank you the 20 gifted, man. Um, what's that one called? Movie Grid. All right, let's jump into it. We got New York Times connections. This one's easy. This one's easy. Come on. I, I, I've yet to fail this one in years. Poker, dice, chips, cards. Son of a... Poker, chips, cards... What? Chips, cards, dice, slots? Poker, dice, cards, slots. What? Okay, so it is slots. It's also chips. So it's not dice or it's not cards. So it's definitely chips, poker, slots. Chips, poker, slots, cards. Oh my god, it was dice. It was not a great day for New York Times connections. Tradle. <laughs> Which country exports $14.2 billion worth of goods every year, including bananas, coffee? Okay, this has to be, I would assume, a perhaps Central American, South American country. Let, let's just... Let me... Let me kick things off with Peru. All right, we're Central America. Let's go Guatemala. Easy. Done. Two. Come on. That's easy. Poke Doku. Need to name a normal flying type. That's very easy. We can go Pidgeotto. Now we need to name a Hoenn flying type. That's also easy. We can just go uh, Swellow. Now we need a, fl a fairy flying type. It's a little harder. We'll pause on that. Evolved by an item from the Hoenn region. Okay. Let's think about this for a minute. Evolved by an item in the Hoenn region. Hmm. Hoenn region. I'm trying to think of a... I don't, I don't know if there was an evolution specific to Gen 3. I actually think there was Gen 2 and then they skipped it for a couple. Let me pause on Hoenn for a little bit. I know a lot about Hoenn, but I want to pause on it for a moment. Let's go normal evolved by an item. That one should be easy. You need a moonstone to evolve the normal type Pokemon. The failing New York Times have to confuse the world's <laughs> greatest streamer there. Frankly abysmal. Connections game. <laughs> Said. It is. It's true. It is true. The failing New York Times. I walk in, and everybody around the goes, it's failing. It is failing. It's failing. Normal evolved by an item. You need a, moon sp a moonstone to evolve Jigglypuff into Wigglytuff. Is that... Is that... Is that a normal type? I guess... Is Eevee a... Evolved by item. They're, so they're asking for the Pokemon that is evolved into it. I'm going to go Wigglytuff. Okay. A baby normal type. It used to be Togepi. But I feel like Togepi is a fairy type now. I'm going to go Togepi. 
Okay. Let's go... Oh, I guess we... Yeah, we couldn't go Iglybuff. And then this is Togepi. Yeah, okay. They did switch it at some point. A Hoenn baby type and a Hoenn Pokemon evolved by an item. This should be easy. I don't know why I'm stalling on this one. A Hoenn Pokemon evolved by an item. I feel like... What's that beautiful Pokemon? It evolves from the really ugly-ass Pokemon. Don't you need an item to do that? Obviously, I'm not... C... 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 Not C Bass. C Bass. Why am I thinking of C Bass? There's a... It's like four... It's like for... Ah, Gor Gorbis. That's it. Gorbis. And then a Hoenn baby Pokemon. A Hoenn baby Pokemon. That's tough. Fairy flying. I guess we could go Togetic, right? Or Togekiss. Okay. Uh, a Hoenn baby. A Hoenn baby. That's a bit tougher for me. Cast form's not a baby, right? But cast form kind of is baby. Who's a baby type? Lucario has that baby version, but I don't think that's... A, an actual... I don't think it's Hoenn, first off, but... Meryl? No, that's not Gen 3. What makes something a baby? Is it just... It's not just the first version. It has to, like, specifically be a baby, right? Like, you can't just call Mudkip a baby, right? Or can you? Hmm, a baby Hoenn type. I should be able to get this if I if I keep exploring. Because there's... Is Ralts a baby type? Does Gardevoir have a final evolution? Or a fourth evolution? Do they add that? What is a is Beldum a baby? <laughs> what what makes what makes it a baby? What is the alternate evolution for Gardevoir? Because you got Ralts, which is Corellia, which becomes Gardevoir, or something else and I'm pretty sure that's something else Gallade I cheated for this Gallade oh actually you don't need an item so that was wrong <laughs> Clefable why not dang it okay alright alright I should have gotten why not I forgot about why not for some reason Clefable, that one, I didn't realize required an item. I'll come clean. I didn't know about that. Toga Kiss would have been a better answer for that one. Yeah, Toga Kiss would have been a better answer for that one. I I actually knew that one. And I knew it had an item as well. Yeah, I should have just I should have swapped them. I just fucked it. If I put to to Togetic or Togetic there and to Toga Kiss, and then I should have gotten why not. Wait, 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 wait. Azuril. Oh, there's only two. That's tough. Ludicolo. Hey, Lud. Where would be the most ethical place to suggest a new daily for you to try? Also, don't forget to wear elbow and knee pads when skateboarding. I don't think you need elbow or knee pads. Maybe that's controversial. I feel like you need a helmet. Honestly, what I prefer is a wrist guard or a wrist strap. But I've never understood the value of elbow pads. And I know I'm advertising or advising on less safety for myself, which is like always oh, dumb. But I just feel like when you fall, how do you fall? Huh? What you don't do is, oh no. Uh, okay, let's enter a guess here. The Thomasville Tisdale Fabric Sectional with Storage Ottoman. Wow. Adverse Wordle. Oh, and the subreddit's the best place to advertise. 
uh, a new Wordle. Okay, this is an interesting Costco item. They're asking to guess the price of a full couch plus sectional. This is a huge, or excuse me, plus ottoman. This is a huge sectional. We're definitely in the four-figure range. If they sell this for less than $1,000, Costco's on something else. My gut wants to just rip out fourteen ninety nine. Ninety nine. I'm just gonna I'm gonna rip that. It seems a bit cheap, but I'm gonna go for it. It is a bit cheap. Okay. It's not too cheap though, right? I believe yellow means I am within within twenty five percent of the target price. Okay. So what's twenty five percent of fifteen hundred? It's three hundred four hundred dollars. So maybe let's go. Let's go sixteen ninety nine. I'm gonna go up two hundred. Sixteen ninety nine ninety nine. Spot on. Spot on. I think it's a reasonable price. It's high enough that you wouldn't instantly buy it. You'd have to think about it. Do I really love the color? All right. The Daily Dozen trivia. This is nine trivia categories, nine trivia questions, starting with the NFL. Which team were the Seahawks facing when Marshawn Lynch broke nine tackles during the 67-yard run known as the Beast Quake during the wild card weekend of January 2011? Wow. Okay. So it has to be an NFC team, Seattle Seahawks, and it can't be a divisional rival. Otherwise, they wouldn't be playing them round one and it was the wild card weekend it's not popping to my head right away that's for sure NFC team I mean what NFC teams were making an appearance in the playoffs in 2011 the Niners The Packers? The Packers. Let's go the Packers. Green Bay Packers. That was wrong. Wait, was that right? That was wrong. It was right. It's wrong. Fuck. Okay, we'll move on. Was it the Saints? It was the Saints? It was the Saints. Twenty Is 2011 the year the Packers won? From 2007 to 2009, this Tampa Bay first baseman totaled 116 home runs, made an all-star team, won a silver slugger, a golden, gl a gold glove, and led the uh, uh, AL in home runs in 2009. I have no clue. What's that dude's name? Suzuki. Ichiro? <laughs> I don't know. I got nothing. Shohei Otani. Uh, uh, Babe Ruth. College basketball. As a sophomore, Otto Porter Jr. was the 2013 Big East Player of the Year, a consensus All-American, and led this school to a two-seed NCAA tournament. I have no clue. Purdue. Okay. Get me out of sports. I'm not here for sports. Get me to retail shopping. Illustrator, Premiere, Acrobat, and Lightroom are products of Adobe software. Name the two celebrities mashed up in this photo. Mark Ruffalo. I have to assume that's the hair of... Oh, shit. I was gonna snap Steve Martin, but I'm no, I'm gonna I'm gonna double down. Steve Martin. Oh, there we go. There we go. Snacks and candies produced by Good Humor Bri Briars, the Choco Taco was marketed on wrappers under the umbrella of what recognizable ice cream brand before getting discontinued in 2022. Godiva? What ice cream brand? I have no clue. I have no clue. I have no I've 
I don't know if I've ever had a Choco Taco in my life. I'm going to come clean here. Ice cream brand. It's not Ben and Jerry's. That's a fact. What's that? What's that more popular one? Like the basic ass ice cream that's in every fucking mall. And they always have a store. Uh, Hagen Daz. Hagen Daz. No. Shit. Might have been Klondike. Television. Since 2019, Elliot Page has starred in this Netflix series revolving around a dysfunctional family of adopted sibling superheroes. Oh, fuck. Dude, I saw a few episodes of this. I hated it. Fuck. Uh, isn't it like... It's not X-Men. It's like fucking... It's like the... Tr it's like the troubled. It's like the, the problem. The problem children. The, the trouble... The trouble kids. The... It's like it's like a weird it's like disease. <laughs> uh freaks. Freaks no. It's like <laughs> dude, what is it called? Uh outcasts. No. It's Umbrella Academy? Wow. I totally forgot that. That I've uh, wiped this from my mind. Rated a one percent by critics on Rotten Tomatoes, Dana Carvey wore a turtle suit while playing the lead role of a pistachio disguisee. In uh, uh, Masters of Disguise. Wait, Master of Disguise. The Master of Disguise. That was rated 1%. I feel like I vividly remember Dana Carvey going, Eardle. Music. Following the success of their song Fireflies, Owl City collaborated with what singer for their... 2012 hit song, Good Time. You would not believe your eyes. Good time. Good time. What singer? What singer? Good time. It's going to be a... It's going to be a good time. Oh. It's going to be a good time. Hey. It's fine. I don't know. Adam Levine. <laughs> not even on there. Uh, Give me... Give me young boy, never broke again. Three right. Average scores of 4.8. Correct answer? How do I how do I see the correct answers? Click categories on the main screen. Wait, what does that mean? Click categories on the main screen. Oh. It was the Saints, Carlos Pina. Georgetown, Klondike, Carly Rae Jepsen, The Umbrella Academy. Okay, I should have gotten. I should have done better there. Today, I would like to go from Equatorial Guinea to Serbia. Whoa, kill me. Sorry, that was rude. I don't know how you do that. <laughs> you want to go to Equatorial Guinea? Fuck me. From Serbia. What's in between those? Italy? No. That was unnecessary. Okay. What do I for sure need to go between? Uh, for sure, Egypt. And then maybe Turkey? How do I get from Serbia to Turkey? Romania? Uh, Romania, what's down here? Belarus? No, it's too north. Serbia, Turkey, Greece. Let me get Greece in there. Okay, Greece. Okay. And then North Macedonia. Okay. So we've connected. We got Serbia to North Macedonia to Greece to Turkey. And then we have to get from Turkey to Egypt. What, Jordan? Fuck. Okay, let's 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 chill for a moment. We need to get from Egypt all the way over to Equatorial Guinea. <laughs> this, is, this is not an easy one for me. Uh Chad. Okay. That's a big gap. 
Sudan, South Sudan. Wrong way, Ludwig. Let's go Niger. Wrong way, Ludwig. Let's go Lebanon. That was useless, Ludwig. Let's go Saudi Arabia. What are we even doing now, Ludwig? One more guess to fill up this huge area. Nigeria? <laughs> Get a hint. Uh, uh, Ghana? Okay. It was not the best guess. Mm, but you know what? A lot of people failed today. A lot of people failed today. Cameroon. It was Cameroon to Chad, to Libya, to Egypt. This is fucked. Israel, Lebanon, Syria, Turkey. Is that really the best way to get there? I did. It was Bulgaria. I should have gone Bulgaria. I did Greece and North Macedonia. That was a hard one. That was a hard one for me. Okay, let's go to let's go to movie grid. <sighs> okay. All right. Movie grid. Dude, movie grid. I've never gotten more than three on. Jessica Alba released from 1990 to 2005. Isn't Jessica Alba in that Dane Cook movie? Where they work at a... Like a... A store? What's it called? Superstore. Superstore. Or, oh, is it Good Luck Chuck? Is, it, is the website down? What are we doing here? I can't click anything. I give up? I wasn't going to do well today. All right, Luddle. This is a scam. Okay, this is a video I made when I bought fake merch of myself. Was it employee of the month? Yeah, that makes sense. This is a video I made when I bought fake merch of myself and then tried it on. This must have been 20... So this picture is from... I think this picture is from September 2018 or 19. I'm going to go like February 2020. It was March 2020. Okay, good guess. Among Us, but we take a shot after every death. This is 2020, but it's later Among Us. I'm going to go August, January 2021, even later. Wow. Best of Ludwig 2020. I'm going to take a stab. I'm going to go December 2020. <laughs> Wow, we posted in January. Son of a bitch. Press 1 if this plan is dumb. Polybridge. Great era. Love the Polybridge era. I think it's 2020. Let's go June. It was January. Okay. Ludwig reacts to the roast of Bobby Scar. This is early. 2019. September. I think it was at main stage. Nice. Good score. Good score. All right, New York Times mini crossword. One across. Vehicles queued at an airport. Uh, shit. Vehicles queued at an airport. It's not park. It's fucking, is it load? No, what's it called? Okay, I can't think of it. Let's move on. Let's happen. What? Fossil fuel lobby, informally. Fossil fuel lobby. I got nothing. Stylish and attractive. Stylish and attractive. Nothing. Man, oh man. What, what are we even saying here? What do you mean, man, oh man? Okay, let's go one down. Tightly hold on to... Pond scum. Hold up. Hassan's asking me for tech support. He 
he's asking for tech support at a time like this. Uh, I don't know what pond scum is. Uh, alcohol, slang, slangily, booze. Okay, we got one. Grammy award winning producer, something beats. Uh, muscles exercised by crunches, abs, stealthy, stealthy, sneak, hide, quiet. Um, I don't know. I don't know what that is, but maybe this helps us. Let's happen. Fossil fuel lobby. B B B British petroleum. Stylish and attractive. Segzy. <laughs> Segzy. No. Uh, stealthy. No. Pond scum. Could be algae. I don't know if that's how you spell it. Tightly hold on to. I don't know. One across. Vehicles queued at an airport. Is it algae? Booze. One across. Vehicles queued at an airport. Cabs. Let's happen. I don't know what that means. Fossil fuel lobby informally. Okay, let's go one down. Tightly hold on to. I got nothing. Is it swarm beats? Or am I making that up? I don't think it's right. Stylish and attractive. What is the fucking Z doing here? Booze must be wrong. Big fuel lobby informally. Big oil. Stylish and attractive. Man, oh man. Sheesh. <laughs> uh, stealthy. Sly. S sleazy slaz slazy what is this fucking word let hap let's happen allows big oil man oh man sw 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 something swill swirl swims tightly hold on to cling booze must be wrong but it can't be wrong Am I spelling it wrong? Siat, siat, cling. Snazzy. Man, oh man, jeez. That word was fucking me up. Jeez. Okay, let's move over. Oh, time guesser. Good call, actually. Hold up. One more. This is Daft Punk performing. In Tokyo, Japan. In 1990. I don't think I'm going to find the exact district here. So I'll just go bang. I'm going to go 1993. It's fine. 2000. Daft Punk walking through a metro station in Tokyo. Way south. Okay. Feel good about it? Huh. What the hell is this? What am I looking at?
this is this is the Eastern Bloc. <laughs> this is some punk rock band in the Eastern Bloc in 1980 flat. Where in the Eastern Bloc? Give me Belarus mints. It was Estonia punks in the early 80s. Okay, I like the year. Don't love the location. This is Arnold Schwarzenegger sleeping outside of a statue of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He doesn't look young, though. I'll say that much. But he is old as shit. So this this still could be like 2012. 2010. I'm going to go 2010. I don't think he, he gets away with this nowadays. Where is this? I mean, it's probably in L.A., right? I feel like that's where he was made. Let's go like Hollywood. I'm going to go Hollywood. I'm going to go Beverly Hills, 2010. It was actually in Ohio. <laughs> Why the fuck is he in Ohio? What the hell is Arnold Schwarzenegger doing with a statue in Ohio? Okay, fair enough. This is beautiful. Very touristic. Tourist service, ticket office, so aquí. Vestir bem e barato, so aquí. What the fucking Disney movie is this? Well, I think it's in 2015. <laughs> Just throwing that guess out there. As far as where... Vouche prenda cruzero no, I mean, just Spain? Madrid, Spain, 2015. It was actually Portugal and Porto, okay? I'm cool with that. Uh, the Netherlands? A traditional Netherlands festival. The year, 1967. It was the Dutch civilians celebrating the liberation of Holland in 1944. Wow, really bad on the year. Not the best, not the worst. Mm, not not the best, that's actually for sure. Uh, all right, let's try this out. Chet, we are going to play a game today. What's it called again? Bullet, bullet, uh, buckshot, what's it called? Buckshot, no. What's the word I'm thinking of? Roulette, buckshot roulette. Is that what it's called? Is it not on Steam? Is it not on Steam? It's not on Steam. Oh, it's Itch.io? Okay. Nick Saban's no, no longer coaching Alabama. My, my response to that? Hong Shu, Hong Shu. Me, 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 me. Is there going to be a full Baldur's Gate video at some point? Maybe this is a controversial take. I think most Baldur's Gate playthroughs are maybe kind of fun to watch somebody experience something for the first time. But ultimately, and this is a controversial part, are kind of boring. I, 
maybe this is controversial, but I think most people making videos of Baldur's Gate find their runs to be perhaps a little more unique than they actually are. When in reality, it's mostly people bumbling around, figuring out what they have to do, and then, like, rinse, repeat, recycling their, you know, attack pattern that's the most effective, and then doing silly things with NPCs outside of it. I think, like, on second, third playthroughs, when people start to get good, then you get somewhere. When they start getting a bit creative, I think they get somewhere. All right, chat, we're going to play Buckshot Roulette. I got to pee real quick, and then we're jumping into it. All right, what do we got here? Buckshot Roulette. This game went super viral on TikTok. That's where I first heard about it. I have no idea what it is, but let's jump into it. If it's a video game, I'll probably be good at it. This is almost every LA nightclub bathroom. I am not phased or afraid. Oh, it is an LA nightclub. <laughs> Can I move? Oh. Please sign the waiver. Oh, oh, we're not even reading. Sign it. My gamer name, Air. Coots. One, two, skull. Dealer Coots. We each have two electricities, one live round, two blanks. Oh, we're playing a little Russian roulette. All right, fucker. I insert the shells in an unknown order. Okay. Are you shooting me or shooting yourself? Shooting yourself with a blank skips the dealer's turn. I'll fucking shoot myself. One in three odds. I'll take those. Oh my god. <laughs> That's terrifying. So now it's a 50 50. I either kill the dealer or kill myself. Don't shoot me. It could... <laughs> That's all right. Put my back against the wall. See what I do. Three live rounds, two blank. You go first. I'm 
I, the best option is to shoot the dealer because majority are live rounds. Come on! Oh, he's not happy. Oh, he is not happy. Oh! Okay, all right. Two live rounds. One not live round. I don't play by the book. Okay, that, that wasn't mathin. That wasn't, unfortunately, mathin right. <laughs> it doesn't make sense to shoot yourself when two thirds of the bullets kill you. How you doing? Have a good one, sorry. Sorry, talking to a buddy out there. Welcome back. Happy to be back. Oh, this is phase two? All right, one live round, two blanks. Okay. All right, load them up, baby. Fuck! Okay. Three live rounds, two blank. I'm gonna do some beast shit. I'm gonna shoot myself, it's a blank, I'm gonna shoot him twice. Watch! Come on! All right, two live rounds. It's your turn? <laughs> you dumbass. I've been down that road, dealer. Could have told you it wouldn't have worked. I could have told him. I've done that strat. It does not work. Bozo. Let's make this a little more interesting. Okay. Two items each. More items before every load. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not mature enough to read the word load. Uh, okay. All right, I have a magnifying glass and a knife. One live round, one blank. We have four lives. Shotgun deals two damage, handsaw. Fifty fifty heads. Oh no. Oh. Oh, thank God. Okay, this is fine. I don't mind if he shoots me. Okay, this is fine. I still have three lives. I thought he kept my cutoff. That stressed me out for a second. Oh, a beer? Oh. General release of liability? Oh, a, okay, a knife. Two live rounds, two blanks. Okay. Two live rounds, two blanks. It's a 50 50. You rack the shotgun, ends round on last shell. Best odds in life are a coin flip. You'll never get better than that. 
Okay, so he can see what round this is. Oh. You're smoking? What? Pause! Smoking a cigarette gives you a... It gives you a life? It just gives you a life. You smoke a cigarette. That's not how it works, man. Fine, bitch. Two can play at this game. I think that was a blank. Wait. They're both blanks. I didn't math it. Oh God, I'm just not used to shooting blanks. Two beers. I'm getting fucking lit. Three live rounds, two blanks. Okay. So the beer racks the shotgun. Ends round on last shell. What does that mean? I don't know. I'm drinking a fucking beer. Ends round. Oh. So I just get to pop one out. So now there's three live rounds, one fake round. I'm just going to take two shots at the dealer. This is bad for me. Damn it. Okay, that was kind of unlucky. I won't lie. That was kind of unlucky. So now it's only live rounds. Oh, he's wasting his magnifying glass. What a fool. So there's two live rounds in there. So he's going to shoot me with one. Oh, and he has more cigarettes. Oh, this is so cringe. I, I, all I get is fucking beer. And he cuffs me. Ask me to dinner before fucking me like this, man. It's Jover. You, you got so lucky. You're lucky I le it left with the charge. You guys are lucky that I quit my smoking addiction. Hello. So we start on round two again? Okay. Hell yeah. I'm continuing my cigaretteless run. Magnifying glass and beer. Okay, four lives a pop. One live round, one blank. Okay, and he's starting with a pack of cigarettes. So let's just be smart here. Let's use our magnifying glass. We have a li uh, that's that's a live round. So let's shoot our dealer in the fucking skull. He always lights up, man. You gotta quit. It's so bad for you. Oh. Okay. Oh, I got a pack of cigarettes and another beer. Okay. Two live rounds, two blanks. And he gets to start because he... Oh, I get to start still. Oh, that's, that's a good advantage. So here's my idea. I double beer. That's a live round. Fifty fifty. Fuck it. <laughs> no, that was so bad. Oh, that was such a bad round. That was not lucky, I will say.
Three live rounds, two blanks. Okay. Okay. It's not always a 50-50. There was a chance I got rid of both live rounds, for example. Okay, let's let's smoke a pack of cigs. That's the good shit. That's the good shit. Here's what I do. I cuff him. I go for a regular shot. It is now a 50-50. I go loco. I shoot myself. There is now a 66.6% .6 chance that I have a live round. We're going to saw this bitch off and blow the dealer away. Not blow the dealer. That's gaming! Alright, we got four lives. He's got no cigs. He can, he can, oh shit, he can get three health off me. Fuck, this is gonna be a two healther. But he, he wasted a cuff. Cause it's one, it's, it's one live, one fake. He wasted a cuff here. He wasted a cuff there. What a fool. Doesn't change anything because I always get the start. Pack of cigs and a beer. Okay. What do we got here, dealer? Three live rounds, three blanks. Okay. First off, let's smoke a pack. Next off, pop a beer. The beer gets rid of the top round. It was a live round. Now, I'm gonna shoot myself. We're 2-2. Two, two. two live rounds, two fake rounds. Nobody sees this coming. I shoot myself again. game All out of live rounds. Okay, what do we got? Give me something good. That can win me the game. I can win the game right here. Five live rounds, two blanks. I can win the game right here. He has two HP. Here's what I do. This is free. Magnifying glass. I get to see what round we have. If it's red, we're in business. Good news. It's red. Handsaw. And buddy, see you in the finals. Come on! Hello, Ludwig. Just letting you know if you had shot the dealer that last round, you would have won. Thank you! Thank you. Yes, I know. I still won, by the way. All right, death round. This is where this is where boys become men. Long last, we arrive at the final showdown. Sorry. No more difficult defibrillators. No more blood transfusions. Now me and you, we are dancing on the edge of life and death. Four items each. Three beers! <sighs> okay. 
one one live round two blanks I'm gonna chug one because if it's the live round then we can just go next okay it's the live round It's two blanks. Give me more live rounds, dealer. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's great. That's so amazing! Four and four. Four and four. Four and four. Magnifying immediately would be a bit bold. I don't think it's the right call. Because there's four blank rounds. A 50-50 is great fucking odds. Let's take the 50-50. Heads! Good news for me. Bad news! I'm cuffed! He's blowing his load. He's blowing his load so bad. There's one live round. Two live rounds, one fake round. Watch a 45 minute cutscene for you to shoot yourself in the fucking head. That's crazy. I did that. Okay, it was 4-4. Four, four. Let's recycle. Let's rewind. It's It was 4-4 four, four at the start. I shot a blank. He pumped one blank out. So there should be two blanks in one live round. I think. Let's smoke a pack of cigarettes and think about this. Let's take a look at the shotgun. That's a live round, baby. Let's shoot this fucker in his skull. Now, A-F-A-I-K, as far as I know, there's two blank rounds. So my turn isn't really impacted too much here. He might just double smoke and then shoot himself. Tie game. So, I have way more items. Though. I have advantage here. Okay, there, there was one blank left, I see. Okay, my cigarettes go over here. Put my blade here. Magnifying glass. Give me another. Oh, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Three and two. This is beautiful. And I get the start. Three and two. This is beautiful. Three and two. Let's use a magnifying glass. Blank. Three and one. High odds that I'm going to shoot him here. High odds. Let's take the risk. Nice. Okay, we're 2-1. We're 2-1. One. One. I didn't want to lock him. I didn't want to lock him. I chose not to lock. I didn't want to cuff. I'm making him blow his cigarettes. He's probably going to double cigarette, magnifying glass, maybe even cuff. Yeah. He's going to blow the load.
He, he blew his load too early. Fuck. That's unlucky. He gets two free shots. That's unlucky. If it had been a live round and not a blank, which is statistically the most likely, that would have been better. This is bad for me. This is bad for me. I didn't get to use all my items. That's why it's bad. Because you only get a max of eight items, and you get four items every round. And I'm out of space now. That was, that was unlucky. That was unlucky. Okay, I still have eight items to his four. Four live rounds, two blanks. Four live rounds, two blanks. All right, let's double smoke. Four live rounds, two blanks. Four live rounds, two blanks. Four live rounds, two blanks. Let's cuff him. Let's shoot him. Love that. I love that. I love that. Let's beer it up. That's a live round. Two live rounds, two blanks. Let's beer it up. Let's beer again. Hands off. There's two live rounds left. I couldn't double cuff. You can't double cuff. Yeah. What? Oh, fuck. Oh, I have to keep mental track. He's at four. Shit. And I'm at three. And three. Five and two. Let's cuff him. Four and two. He has three hearts left. Uh-oh. What is this, deal or no deal? Ulysses S. Grant. Wasn't hiding his health at two HP, you're instantly one shot. Hell yeah. Wait, that was easy as shit. Oh, the game just closes. Can you play multiplayer? Dude, this game multiplayer would actually be sick. Like, if you could play somebody, that'd be fun as fuck.
No multiplayer yet? Damn. Sad. Hold up, I've been requested to play Minecraftal. What? I, I don't get it. Shovel. Oh, I have to guess what we're supposed to be making? Redstone torch. door pants an iron sword easy you would not believe your eyes damn that game is fun though that's a good ass game. Why'd you guess door? I don't know. To like get it out of the way. I don't know. I didn't have a great reason. I was hoping that maybe it'd get it out of the way or something. I don't know, man. I don't know. Don't bother me with my stupidity. I think I would like stick our RPG. Do a no item run. Let me try it. Let me try it. I do think I could win no items. The goal is to win no items. Because here's the thing. Any little baby. Sorry, one second. Hey, what up? How's it going? Looking good, baby. Look, any motherfucker can come up, sign the general release of liability, and win this game. No item, baby. It's better if I shoot him, even though statistically it'll be a blank, because then I'll leave him with a 50-50. As opposed to if I try shooting myself, I'm only ending up with a 50-50. Statistically, that was the right thing to do. Because think about it. If I take a 1 in 3 chance of shooting myself... To then take a 50-50 to shoot him, where if I lose the 50-50, he guarantees shoots me, I'm just screwing myself over. The math doesn't math. Dude, you guys are just wrong. Wait, I didn't look. Wait, I didn't look! It's 2-2, right? It's the same odds? No, it's not. Because if I'm shooting myself, I take the damage if the one in three hits. It's three, two. I shoot him. All right, two to one. Come on. He's going to shoot himself in the face. I know it. Fuck. Uh. 
The Monty Hall problem is almost entirely irrelevant because the dealer is not opening or showing a result. Okay, look, highest odds, I shoot the dealer. It's a one in three. Three lives, two blanks. I go for the shot no matter what. Because worst case, I have two chances at this, and it's in my favor. That's okay. 2-2. Two, 50% two. chance. Uh-oh. Two live rounds, one blank. Hell yeah. Level two. Can I decline? All right, four lives a piece, one uh, live round, one blank. Odds played this game before? 2-2. Two, two. There's only one way I win this. I have to shoot him in the fucking skull right here. 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. 50 50. Now he's gonna use a magnifying glass. I have to hope that it is a blank, and then he uses a beer, and then it's another blank. That's not a blank. Why don't you use your items? America's reading comprehension has gone down the hill. I named my character no item!
He probably just joined. It it's on the screen at all times. Maybe one per round? No. No item. Yes. 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 No item doesn't work. Let's do a bet. Let's find out. I'm not going to use an item. If I win, I get to ban you. Why doesn't it work? Sometimes it's not about being good. It's about being lucky. Check this shit out. It's alright, it's gonna be 2-2. Two, two. It's gonna be 2-2, two, two. I don't mind that. Cutting the barrel doubles the attack power. Three, two. The only way I win this is by getting a shot off rip. Come on. Two, one. Two, one. He can beat me if he magnifying glass and saws. If he magnifying glass and sees a live round and he saws it, it's, it's, it's just over. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. Bring me back. Bring me back. I can win this. I can win this. If I, because I, 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 I had a, mm, I had a, a, a two to one chance and I whiffed it. If I hit that, I win that. Check me out. This is about this is about to be some freak shit. <sighs> okay. It's a good start. It's a good start. My main way to win is that I start every round. That's my power. I don't get to use items, but I always get to start. And getting to start is huge. Okay, he's gonna double sig magnifying glass here. One live round, two blanks. Two live rounds, one blank. Hello, item Andrew. This is tough. This is tough right here. One live round, one blank. It's a live round.
Oh wait, that it was one one. I'm dumb. Okay, we're good. Three live rounds, two blanks. It's against the odds, but I'm gonna do it. Oh my god. I'm a fucking freak. Okay. 3 1. Please be alive, Ron. That's huge. 2 1. No, no, no. 1 1. So lucky! So lucky. Three live rounds, three blanks. The only I win, the only way I win this is if there's three blanks. So I need to use a live round. Dude, the cigarettes make it so boring. Statistically, this is a blank. Fuck me. Come on! All right, tied up 2-2. Two, two. Three lives, two blanks. I can lose this instantly if he magnifies and then saws. So let's go for a shot. I lost. Why not use items? Why run a mile? Why go to the gym in the morning? 
Why stay late after work? Why? Do we do shit because it's easy? That's a bad start. <laughs> Oh my god all right, no chat. No Baldur's attempt to piping tonight. No Baldur's tonight. There will be Baldur's Gate tomorrow at 7 p.m., but no Baldur's Gate tonight. No, none, not a none. Zilch. Uh, tonight. Tonight. Tonight will be the night that I will fall for you. Over again. You should do the Overwatch portion of the challenge and get Flats to coach you, pleasey. Um... Here's what we should try. I'm going to try a round of melee. I'm just going to try it out. 
I want because I got this competitive gauntlet I'm going to try to do. Melee. Hopefully it's not loud as well. It's a little loud. All right, boom. I don't think I've ever, I don't have ever played ranked melee. Wait, which one of these is melee? Jesus Christ, what happened to my scenes? <laughs> these are hideous. What happened to my melee scene? Crockland. Hold up. All right, let's just see if I still got this. A little bit of ranked melee. I would like to ban Yoshi's Story and Pokemon Stadium. So if you guys don't know, I used to be one of the best Super Smash Brothers melee players in the world. At my peak, I was top 50 in the state of Arizona, which is a top 10 state in America. The last time I played Melee was against Slime, and it didn't go well. This guy's a lot worse than Slime, thankfully. Yeah. 
Why no item? <laughs> Relax. Relax. Why is your name Air Coots? This is my gamer tag. Have you fought on against any of the gods? Yeah, look up Ludwig vs. Mango. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. How do you play this game? You wave dash. No! Okay, this is a bad start. This is a bad start. Okay, I can play cool, I can play fast, and I can reach at. Bad news, I can't do any of them. All right, come on. Good start, baby. Play as Green Fox. Fits your play style. Oh, you mean like Silent Wolf, one of the best to ever do it? Or perhaps you heard of Plup. Come after Green Foxes. Find out there's a lot of us. Or maybe the best in the world, IBDW. Like, like what? who are you trying to insult here? All right, I have one life. Shit, shit. Last talk, I can clutch this. <sighs> okay. Let me go Final Destination. Let me say Fox. Was bad. You're kidding me. D Okay, 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 okay. All I gotta do is not shield grab. And also somehow not get comboed so much. Alright, alright, tied up, tied up, tied up, tied up. 
Why do I do uninvincible stuff at the ledge? Okay, that was tough. That was tough. I'll come clean. <laughs> I thought I thought I was gonna hit it. I guess Dude Minnow's top forty nine. Okay, to be clear, my Jigglypuff fucking washed him so badly that I decided to try out another character. It was a mistake. I should have given him the respect to say the character. The Jigglypuff doesn't lose. It. I'm sorry. It candidly doesn't lose. I wish it did. It just doesn't lose. Wait, my... Oh, lucky. Okay. Guys plays like Zane Jr. That's so tough. Who else you play besides Jigglypuff? In Melee? Really just Jigglypuff. But it's not like a multi-maining game. It's not like Smash Ultimate where you play 18 characters Lil depending if like his the weather is bad or something not. Ridden hands. Almost 30 years old and Puff is the only character his brittle old joints can handle. It's not about Brit. Actually, it is true that my hands start to really hurt when I play Fox. It is true, but it's hurtful. And that doesn't mean you should say it. Oh. Close, buddy. Okay. You see what I mean? Like, the Jigglypuff's there. Nobody's beating the Jigglypuff. Go to ultimate, it's more your speed. Buddy, <laughs> you just, you wouldn't last a day in the ring with me. Uh, what do I ban? If you're a real mogul, you use Captain Falcon. This is going to be some bad gameplay. Why'd you just sign a main Puff? Because I like using Puff in Super Smash Bros. Brawl.
Wait, how do you move on the stage? Okay, I gotta stop landing with an aerial. Okay, thank you. Hey, hey, I have seen this one. Shit. This is a classic. This is the one where Zane is hidden and plays for lid. Ludwig. Can we stop? I want to have fun too! Stop! That was so lame. That's crazy! I can't believe you grabbed that. Oh, a nair. It's a nair. That's the move I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to nair. <laughs> okay. Don't. Don't. Don't down air me off my SD. All right, can I go back to my character now, please? I would like to play a respectful Jigglypuff on Field or Final Destination. Look, I can kill this guy with only rollout. Bro, you have the sword. gosh, the string. Oh my gosh, the string. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, good catch. Oh, you're such a badass. I don't know if I can do it. He might have caught on my caught on to my ways. Dude, okay, I got to stop doing it. I got to stop doing it. This is how every puff player enjoys playing the game. <laughs> Remember this when they demand to not be bullied. Well, well, I've never not demanded to not be bullied. But it, it's a Marth. It's the easiest character in the game. It takes zero skill.
You're playing Puff and you sign Zane? Wait, Zane's sick. Doesn't mean Mart's not an easy character to play. The way Zane plays it isn't easy, by the way. Because he's the best to ever do it. But like a Twall, the the French streamer in, in Ultimate, uh I don't know if he's a player or a personality. He started playing uh melee and he instantly went to Marth. Cause that's just what you do. Can't DI in. Oh, wait, wait, stop. Don't be stupid. <laughs> how do you check your rank? I wish I had words to describe how much you embody the melee community. Your absolute refusal to forget your roots and give back is pure inspiration. You make a difference and I appreciate you for that. You're a real one less than three. I heard Stans is on rank tonight, be careful. Relax, don't come at me. Thank you very much for the comment, Richard. How do I check, uh, how do I check rank? Is there an easy way? Do I have to log in? Oh, I have no rank right now. I need to play three more games. Okay. All right, let's get ranked and then let's end stream. Do you use any controller mods? No. No, I think this is the... Look at this. This is a crusty-ass GameCube controller that I got. Stock. Bro, it is a fob. This one's not a fob, is it? Is it? Oh, wait. Maybe it's a fob. I think this one's not a fob, Yingo, but I could be crazy. He loves that. He's scared of up airing. Oh, good pivot grab, though. Is it the one I gave you? I don't think. I mean, I don't think so, but I could be wrong. I've had this one for a minute. That's stupid of me. Puffs don't eat fobs. No. But it's not like there's a shortage. I also, you know what I also nobody needs is a $16,000 statue of Jackie Chan. So forgive me if I spend a few hundred on a cool controller. We don't have to get so fussy about fobs. Damn, does everybody just have ledge dashes now? <laughs> I don't know how a jab killed. He seems easily tiltable, just based off his lack of movement.
Oh! <laughs> okay. All right. Maybe he's sober. I think he's drunk, man. All right. I just got to get one hit. This can't be a fob, man. <laughs> okay, that was a little silly. What input are you missing? I'm missing uh, up off ledge. End it how you start it, baby. Alright, we're just being a bit silly. We're just being a bit silly. I think this guy would be miserable to play. Hmm. On FD. I mean, like, the down input when I'm trying to jump on ledge. Falco on Yoshi's. This can't be a good solution for you. It's too tight of a stage. You don't know how to, you don't know how to play like this, man. It's not your play style. You need more space. You need, you need more space, buddy. You don't want to scrap with me. Okay, we're spamming a smash. No jump. I knew it, but I didn't do anything about it. He wanted the double so bad. Forward. <laughs> All right, you gotta die. Nobody hits that. Ask Hungry Box, he's not hitting that. Okay, I gotta work on the hack stash. Let's just chill. Okay, that's not a chill. That was a bad life. This life will make up for my past life. You know what? I think the C6's broken, Yingling. I found a new culprit. Yingling, it's the C stick. I'm, tell I'm telling you. There's no fob in my C stick. I need to fob my C-stick, Yingo. <laughs> All intelligent, but also a bit selfish. Chill grab. I just don't like how you shoot the laser and then get mad that I don't come to you when you shoot the laser. Because I feel like you're coming at me with a gun and I don't have one. It's a bad trade. Maybe you need a grind versus Falco? I've got Falco figured out. Would a guy who doesn't have Falco figured out do this? I was supposed to rest, but uh, I didn't think he'd go to top plat. 
So that's that's why I said this, and it didn't really pan out too much. Like he doesn't think I have patience. He doesn't respect my my patience. One of these days, this pound is gonna hit after doing it for the tenth time. Oh, yeah, you beat me there. Good night, Emily. Stop, please. Stop, please. One, two, three, four, five. I'm out of jumps. I'm telling you, Yingo, my up's fucked up. Oh, he got me there. I should have hit that. <laughs> oh, the shine. You're kidding me, no grab. Uh, all right, I got one more game to get ranked. No, two more games. Shit. I'm going slow. Torn. Uh, all right, let me go Battlefield. Wait, maybe it's one. Mo uh, it's one more, and it hasn't updated, or it's two more. I don't know yet. I didn't do a back... Yingo, I got no backdash. You saw that I have no backdash, Yingo. Yingo, I got no shield angling. I'm only winning with my raw instincts. I got three fobs and you aren't even using one. That's so fucked. Where are they? I don't know where they are. You go, you know, you know we don't know where anything is. Can we make the balls controller a fob?
Look, I don't know how to play Falco. I'm not going to lie. Sorry, I don't know how to play against Falco. All I know how to do is Nair, auto cancel, grab. That's it. That's the whole thing. And then occasionally I shield grab. Like that. Up tilts. Yeah, but then he lasers me and I turn around. So it's like, you know. I just nair. I grab. I shield grab. See? Up tilt sets up perfect rests against spaces. <laughs> Sorry, that is good advice. It is true what you say. Jiggly's down B can lead to an explosive surprise. Okay, he started playing good. Never mind. Okay, he was ready for that. He was so ready for that. Fuck. Alright, let's play the actual game. I can't just shield grab my way out of every stock. He could have easily crossed. I'm dead. Should have backered. You're kidding me. He can jab. Okay, all right, hold up. Dude, these lasers are so low. Okay, let me take you back to Battlefield. Boom. Chad, I don't know how to play Falco, and all he does is shoot the damn gun. And I'm a no gun guy, you know? I'm British in that mentality. I'm against the Blicky. This guy, you know, doesn't have that same mental as I do. I'll take that. Oh, we're sweating? Okay. I'll wait for invisibility. <laughs> he wants this. This is important to him. He cares about this match. I actually don't think I've ever shot Fox's gun. So you can't even claim I shoot when I play Fox. I honestly don't know how. I'm telling you, I'm against the gun. You're up a stock. It's okay to shoot a little less. We won't be mad. Boy. Boy. 
He's swagging because he thinks he has it in the bag. Perhaps a little hubris. You haven't what, hit one of those? I respect the attempt. He got me there. Get up attack doesn't work anymore? A horrible day? It hits! Oh. Alright, one more for rank. Dun, 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 dun. You didn't up tilt once? Look, man, I, here's the thing the up tilt, I have to face away from him. And if he shoots the gun, I turn around. I would love to play you on Battlefield. Oh, I ban. The only other Falco I've ever been able to come close to beating is Nick Yingling. In West Balls, when I beat him in one game. But that's more indicative of the Falco playing bad rather than me playing good. Wait, why are you dancing so much? Oh, you got pivots? Oh, he lines that up with his eyeballs? Damn, you're different. Okay, retreating fair. Cross up. That was supposed to work. It didn't. He. <laughs> okay, you're not going to expect pound from ledge a third time. Fourth time would be crazy. A fifth time. <laughs> okay, we're being silly. We're being goofy. We're being goofy. Yeah, I got dinner. I'm alright. I'm not late yet. I went for the up tilt. It didn't work, buddy. I can't believe that was on a runoff there. Wait, ready? Forbidden technique? Run behind, F-Smash. Forbidden Technique, run up F-Smash. Okay. Wait, I have, I have a second Forbidden Technique. This one, I, I'm not supposed to use. Okay, let's see. Okay, ready? Shield drop rest. Okay, he won't give it to me.
This guy's so good at edging. That was so bad. He was so scared. That's crazy. Oh, never mind. I'm good. All right, uh, ban. I would like to ban. I would like to ban. I would like to ban Pokemon Stadium. I will see you in Yoshi's story. How was a half marathon? Easy. But I don't like talking about it. I don't like talking about it. I don't like talking about it. FD. Alright, this is LG to find my rank. You know what? I did get the up tilt, but it wasn't a space animal, so perhaps that was my foolish ways. Oh, nice. Damn, these people got combos on Jigglypuff nowadays? Does everybody just have throw mix-ups? Is everyone just better at the game now? Pound! <laughs> okay. He has defeated my forbidden technique. Okay, we got 45 in one string. What happened to this game I loved? Oi, oi, oi. Crazy. Got me there. I never got Jay Schlatt's bronze monkey balls yet, but I owe him Jackie Chan and he owes me the monkey balls, so we have to do a trade at some point. I'm ending after this game, but I want to find my melee rank because I don't think I've found it since I played that Fox session against Atrioc to get gold. I can't believe you can follow up at that percent.
That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> Shit. Okay. All right. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. We gotta end with a positive record here. I gotta play smart. All right. Lock it in. Shake him back to FD. I think it's a good stage for buff. Owns my rollouts. Tucci. These safe fares.
That's crazy. Dude. Okay, gets a lot of grabs. I shield a lot. Silver three? Is that the high end or the low end of silver? Is that far or close, chat? That's high? Is it is it out of three or is it out of five? Oh, so I'm almost gold. Oh, that's fine. Oh, that's great. That's exactly what I want. I would love to be a gold platinum jigglypuff. Uh, but we won't find out if I'm that today because I got to go to a dinner. Thank you all for watching, chat. Tomorrow I should be live somewhat early. Thank you all for watching, boys. I appreciate it. I will see you guys all here tomorrow. We got Baldur's Gate. But maybe I'll play Stick Art PG2. Or maybe... Uh, I'll try this little gaming gauntlet. I don't know yet. We'll find out. But thank you all for watching. The climbing game! That's what I forgot. Alright, maybe I'll try the climbing game. All right, thank you all for watching, boys. I appreciate it. I will see you guys all tomorrow. Have a good rest of your evening. New Mogul Mail is up. New YouTube video I posted yesterday. I'm going to upload a YouTube short later. Or just watch Netflix, man. I don't know. Have a good one. Peace.